<clears throat> okay, after clearing my throat, so welcome back everyone to session 113 of Into the Wildlands. And I am your DM for this evening, Miser Mark. Last we left our uh, party, they were, besides doing their own little chaotic stuff here and there, some of them have learned various truths as some of them were poking at the uh, proverbial existing bear of the universe. <laughs> One of the members has learned a horrific truth, but whether that person will say or not, that will depend. Others have grasped some bits of the truth. Others had a moment of it, but then forgot most of it. Though, they still have their plans to go and meet the entity known as Shroud, and... Well, Adaria and Arizel managed to acquire some of Baractheos, the Primal of the Storm's blood, for crystallized drops of it. And, well... Shub and the others, uh, a couple of others, went to go see a underground market <laughs> with the help of uh, Varpal, who is still a very unknown or questionable existence. And the return of Bozomar, who has switched his allegiance from anybody else and just switched to Mavis <laughs> for protection. <laughs> And also we have the return of Helena, who is now a stout uh, halfling, reincarnated. Most of her abilities are now returned to her, give or take, as a cleric. <laughs> so what are the party going to be doing now? They're going to head off right away as they hear stuff about... Um, walking frogmen who are not from this plane of existence or are they going to uh, do what they do best fuck around and find out I'll need somebody to handle the music for me while I switch a few things around here <laughs> Well, outside of getting flashbang earlier, I think it's a good day. At least I fucking hope it is. I've met God. Don't we do that like on the regular at this point? Yeah, but like the big one. Like how big on a scale of like one to ten? Like if the gods were on a staircase, he lives at the top stair. All right. Anything else happen? Well, apparently my sunglasses do nothing. <laughs> Little divine light that pierces me. even through the shades of <laughs> coolness. That's why you need divine UV protection, not regular UV protection. Paladins make them for when they're smiting foes, but God knows getting our hands on them is a pain in the ass. Where'd Shub go? He just says, it's... I don't know. He has a tendency to disappear. Right there. He's right there, oh. sitting he's across the table. <laughs> As, uh... I didn't notice. Cause he wasn't... Yeah, but he's doing the thing where he just stares at the wall and drools. Just wondering if he was, you know, alive. <laughs> you, just hear, you just hear him say frog meat. <laughs> Okay, and we will not disturb him from whatever rest, slumber, whatever the fuck he's in. <laughs> Considering all this slodge shit we just learned like five seconds ago. Uh, oh. So, 
Um, out of curiosity, Miser, we haven't rested you yet since getting back, right? You know what? It's been a while. I will say you have. Oh, well, okay. Well, are we going to... As she kind of cracks her neck. And go for the tower now, or are we going to attempt our suicide later? I'm cool with think... now. I should be fine with everything. Ari, you good? Oh, no, she's here. Yes. Good as I'll be, yes. Alright. Cool. Ow. Um, I guess we should probably get going then. We don't need anything else. Oh! Indra, you wouldn't happen that artificer I had asked about. They wouldn't happen to be on the way. Were they in Men's Auto or something? I had asked for an alchemist to brew the potions because I don't know, I don't have um, alchemy tools to make the those god potion type things. And, and the alchemist I know is in Men's Auto. Okay. Well, hopefully, on the way we find a traveling alchemist. Not really anyway. This needs an alchemist. I mean, he has deft hands for an alchemist, but I don't know. I mean, if you want me to make something explosive, I can do that. Oh, definitely not with this kind yes. of material. No, not with this, Tyrannin. Yes! Tyrannin, no. What? Yes. With the specific thing I'm having. Can you make no. me, like, five grenades? Can you do that for me? Of course, See? you know I made some for you before. Granted, I'll probably need the right ingredients and a, and a nice little laboratory to work on that, but I can make something... Uh, goblin-proof. The fact that you're saying goblin proof worries me even more. It makes me sound like we're gonna commit something that's close to war crimes, even though there's no wars here, really. Commit all the war crimes, it's fine. Smee looks right at you, uh, Syndra. is a very <laughs> knowing smirk of, like, um, should I tell her? <laughs> I think Syndra's Henry is not violent. <laughs> hey, it's not a war crime the first time. <laughs> I don't know. Some of the people in Sword Coast be putting my uh, face on some of the posters for some reason other than the obvious thievery and all that. I mean, we only fronted how many walls? I'm not surprised. I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't exactly keep count on that. I just... Neither do I, right? Counting. For real, Edgar. <laughs> that aside... Hopefully we can find an alchemist for what I'm looking for. Which would be very fucking hard to start mixing, you know what, with everything. I will give this to you. You do know there was somebody working in Deneb's, uh, garden shop. Oh, fuck. I don't want to talk to her about it, though. Oh, not her, him. Well, no, because she has to contact Deneb first. Ah. <laughs> and, and explain why she needs an artificer. <laughs> You see what you see the conundrum yes. here, Mizer. Yes, yes, I, I see it now. I hear, you. I understand you now. What the fuck are we going to talk to her about needing an alchemist without exposing what the fuck we're making? I mean, we can't really threaten her, can we? I don't want to end up in a pumpkin patch now. Damn it. I mean, we can certainly try, but it's not going to get us very far. And actually, I think I know a way. Considering what she said when I first brought up the idea, she said she hates primal politics. That's all we have to say it's dealing with. And then she'll immediately bow out. I hope. I will, uh, I'll just correct you on this little bit. She did say she doesn't want to get into divine politics. I, okay. I thought it was a mix of both, but either way. Yeah, it's, 
the way she fr the way she phrased it, and I didn't say it very well enough, was that she doesn't like being involved with the politics of gods or godly beings, despite her uh, own status. Oh, never mind. She hates god politics, which is better and worse. I thought it. She also said, like, with her exact phrasing, she doesn't like dealing with, I guess, the law of the land too. But I guess that's also like divine in a sense. If I'm remembering it correctly, I might be misremembering a little. No, no, you're not. It's just I'm okay. elaborating. All right. Uh, we just take the trash, the pumpkin trash can, right, to Nicole's the neb. Also, you know, opt to not tell her what the potion is and just have her make it. Because then she might... Or make up a lie. My worry is she might want to sell it, but fuck it. I'll try and see if she just wants to actually answer. Send her shake the funny trash can and get a call on the line, or however that works. Well, that's questionable. I don't really know how this thing works. And then just punch it. <laughs> just kind of grumbles at you or gargles. You're not sure Weird really which. Weird inanimate pumpkin thing. We need to contact your neb, so if you wouldn't mind just uh, facing out for a minute. It tries to bite you, but its teeth are... Well, it can't really do any damage to us with that fake, wiggly, gummy teeth. He just, like, pokes at it with his staff. Is this how you turn this thing off? <laughs> what a pain in the arse. God, I wish I had sending at this point or a stone. <sighs> Spells. I mean, you could uh, roll intimidation or something on it. It's just refusing to react with you and is doing its best to ignore you. You also could get physical with it. <laughs> is, is, right. it is it the little guy that's on the ground? Yeah, it's the pumpkin. I, I was making oh. a joke calling it a trash can. Yes. Oh, rude. No, it's a trash can. It has no feelings. Of course not. <laughs> Feelings don't matter. Yeah, I was gonna say. I'll just crap down and be very nice and be like, it would help us tremendously if you could contact the net so that we can make something. Do you think you can do that for us? I'll give you the choice of intimidation or persuasion. Why do I feel like neither? Just, why do I feel like when she's doing it, Ari's just slowly pulling up a knife? I, like I said, I'm giving it. I'm giving you the option. Both of the same, so this is gonna be great. Not gonna go well. Okay, here we go. I'll give you guidance, so you get a D4 at least. Fantastic. I'll add four. Well, I'll roll a D4 after that. So, alrighty. Boink. Okay. Hey. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's look for D4 see what happens. D100, you want to aim, uh... You want to aim above 50. Hold on. It's 18. Okay. Cool. Alright, so you want to aim, uh... Above 40. <laughs> God, I oh my never God. tell me the odds. Uh-huh. I'm being fair. I know. Okay. What? Funny <laughs> numbers. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> okay. Well, it, there's our Finally. funny number for uh, starting the game. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. All right. One exactly second. Exactly how I planned the session to go of us getting fucked. I mean, <laughs> that's you saying it. I'm not. All right. Hold on. Funny. Let me just find. Where did I put you? Here we go. The caller you have reached is unavailable at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. Beep! Actually, let me, uh... <laughs> roll me oh, a d4. No. Oh, no. Wait, who... Oh, want me to roll you a d4? Yes. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Oh, four. That, that... 
I hope not. So and end up in some of the fucking the, uh, So the jaw completely opens a full uh, 180 degrees. You actually just hear what sounds to be like bones breaking. It's what it feels like to be a witch and have a medium. And uh, Tyrannin and Syndra, you do recognize this form of Deneb. Oh my god. Aww. They're cute. That's adorable. <laughs> I almost want to pat it, but I know that I just don't. That will stab you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, almost as if reading or perhaps uh, breaking the fourth wall of hello you reached a Nevrove <clears throat> you've uh, found my familiar slash avatar form would you please uh, make your request before uh, this poor medium that I'm using breaks further uh, we're looking for an alchemist that's in your care. Honey, I was only joking around, but, uh... <clears throat> no. Oh shit, it answered back. <clears throat> yes, I'm here in some form of another. I sent a small piece of myself to talk to you all since it was... Sounded very important. I mean, I'm repeat it, rehashing what I just said. We are looking for an alchemist in your care. I have a few. You're gonna to have to be more specific on that, especially with my new hire. Brewing potions, and specifically deadly potions, perhaps world ending if brewed incorrectly. Probably a most talented alchemist would be the best bet. Then you might be referring to my son. Oh. Yeah, that'd be good. Was he the one in the garden? Yes. Perfect. Then he'll know exactly what I'm working with. Very well. Uh, hmm. I'm not going to send him to you because I don't think he can stomach the transportation of this small pumpkin here. Sure, paw kind of hits the for uh, the gummy teeth around a little bit. Do you need these potions right away? It would be preferable. Uh, I have a suspicion as to what it is, but... Let's see if my son isn't too busy. She then goes back into the pumpkin's uh, mouth. Or at least what you can now see it looks like a small runic circle that Sindri can easily guess is a teleportation circle. No, this is why I'm glad I never did familiars, because I would not be able to stomach that. Especially if once it broke my jaw, talk. Now I'm just going to roll this for her. It's a low chance, but let's see what we get. Damn it, I oh. shouldn't have said low right out loud. <laughs> now she's going to vomit on our floor. Let me see now. Syndra is one. Adria is two. Mavis is three. Arzel is four. <laughs> oh, that's always a good sign. And since Shabib is not here at the moment, so I will just exclude him for the time being on that one. Actually, no, I'll put him as five. All right. <laughs> just bully the player that's not here. <laughs> oh. oh, well. Holy oh. shit. <laughs> well, good luck, Syndra. So, Syndra, you get a message now in your head. Uh, it's from Ascending. But, for some reason, the words are not only very clear and the intention is extremely clear, it's almost like she's sitting right next to you as uh, the message is being sent to you. Alright, my son should be coming by. Please treat him with care, or else. The voice literally changes almost like it's more bestial, that last uh, set of words. Know why you're threatening me? <laughs> there, you can actually feel the uh, smile of, because my children are very precious to me. And considering what I think your friend is going to do, I trust that you'll be able to keep my children out of harm's way. 
I don't know about the others. <laughs> As uh, the mouth gets a lot wider, almost ripping, except it's not ripping. And uh, a very stern person steps out of it. He looks very confused. Oh, buddy. Such a good boy. Man's about to witness some fucking cosmic horrors beyond his disbelief. <laughs> what a sweet summer child. He's probably That's... actually... Here he is, okay, huh? <laughs> yeah, see... <laughs> He comes out with uh, a literally a very large backpack. You hear all the bottle beakers and everything clanging. Oh, hello there. Uh, yeah, mom, mother. I mean, mm, Miss uh, the lady of the pumpkin Damn. patches said that you guys needed an alchemist for plants. Kind of. Remember those things that were growing in the garden prior? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, hold on. Let me just step out of this thing. Man, I almost feel sorry <laughs> for. <laughs> just fucking like, <laughs> like just wiping his shoes on it as he's like getting out. <laughs> oh, he is. He looks. He looks like he wants to pity it for a brief moment, but he almost remembers as to why, or rather, the actual origin of all these things have been turned into pumpkins by his mother. So he just kind of. Wipes his feet very carefully on the fleshy surface of the pumpkin. And then steps out. Another light comes in. There is a, another backpack. He pulls that out. The uh, pumpkin trash can looks very... Well, it looks very much like it didn't does not want to be here anymore. Then he just plops himself right here. Places the two backs to the side. Right, uh, anything plant and potion related I can probably make. Unfortunately, I don't really like to do, uh, anything with explosives. You kind of hear Smee go, oh, shucks, well. <laughs> and then he adds, no potions and brewery I can handle. I have most of my supplies here that at least I can manage to take with me. Okay, so... I'm going to need you to, and she'll pull out at least one of the crystals she has. Mix this, and then she'll pull out a glass beer. With this, and a little bit of this, and she'll pull out, um, up spit, or, like, necromatic energy that she was given. You think you can manage that? Um, what's the procedure for this? <laughs> Let me look through my notes again. And she kind of, like, goes through a notebook. Uh, ingredients for destabilizing the soul, but a short window to burn soul. Moonflower gear with necromantic energy. Blood of a primal. Ashes remains. Oh! Oh, shit. We don't have that, do we? Uh... You don't happen to have... Ash, you, the ash or remains of a very powerful undead on hand, do you? No. I did before I got vaporized. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Well, at least for the time being, you can hold on to these. I don't. I'll send the ingredients through the trash can if we get anything else. And she'll give him basically all the ingredients. So I'll just take off one of them. All right, one yeah. moment. I'm just going to have to uh, reorganize this thing. As he walks back over, picks up the uh, pumpkin trash can, pulls out. Looks to be like a stick at first, but at a you can recognize that uh, that tree branch that he's about to use has some inscriptions on it, and he begins carving something into its mouth. <laughs> oh, hey, you know what? So, uh, in the tower, isn't that... Thing that was supposed to go kill undead? Probably. So we should go. I'm planning on it. I'm just making sure I have everything else prepared before I do so it doesn't <laughs> die with me. 
<laughs> As he like stops paying attention to interject himself into the conversation, that's when Meliana is able to yeah just slap him across the face. <laughs> Actually, that was supposed to be for uh for uh, Blackstone, but you know what? I'll go to roll because I rolled with her on the page. It was gonna be her, so uh, she doesn't slap you. But you sense uh, for a brief moment like you've been empowered by magic and you feel suddenly much faster. You're currently under the effects of haste. Oh, that's not good. All right. Uh, where'd you go now? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, all right. For the time being, just hold on to these. We'll contact you through your mother and anything. Uh, once we get everything else. Right, since my mother's probably going to be busy kind of fishes into his pocket and tosses you a rock. I'm assuming this one's linked to whatever you, you sent? Uh, no, that's a sending stone linked to me. If you're going to send something, you can send it to this thing here as he continues scribbling something or rather carving into the pumpkin, uh, the trash can pumpkin. Got it. All right. Well, take care. Try to be careful with that. It is somewhat uh, divine, or technically anti-divine with what we're doing, so... Right, I'll just put in this pocket dimensional bag of holding that I have here, so he just puts your ingredients into it. Is there a place I can set up a lab here so I don't have to go back and forth? That is up to talking to the either Zonball or someone of that owns this establishment. But there should be, considering how much the town has expanded. Right, and uh, he's gonna look. He sees the first possible person he, that might be able to give him a lead, and he just walks over to Susie, sits down, and he starts conversing right. with her about uh, room recommendations and a place to work at. <laughs> Alright, well, now that that's taken care of and Tyranin's hopped up on murder juice, I think we should probably make our leave. Speaking of which, Tyranin, <laughs> Tyranin can you roll me uh, a d6? You want to aim as high as possible. Well, <laughs> don't ask Jeebus to roll high. Why, you will Why do you tell me things? Because I'm a cruel DM, but anyway... Uh, I will just say this, though, because, uh, Sphinxes do happen to have a different type of flavor of magic. You got hasted, but you're in there for ten minutes, so. Yeah, Tyranid's just a fucking even worse. Like, Tyranid, but now he has ADHD. Well... <laughs> The little baby Sphinx is uh, basically having binge as her roost now. She just watches you like fly. <laughs> so, you guys are going to the tower or to uh, Shroud, who I gotta ask? Guess which is closer? Uh, yeah. Because we're going. We're, I guess because we're going to Shroud either way from the tower, so we're going to at least look at it. Okay, so let me... Uh... Fucking rude, Rod. <laughs> okay, why is this... Mm, hold on. Thing is not... I do not like the new UI at times. Oh, you mean moving people? Yeah. Like it's it's kind of nice and kind of a complete pain. Yeah, because now it moves smoothly, but then it moves too smoothly. I'm like, just stay for the one map. Okay, so let's get you to the world map first. Yeah, it's just like how you guys... <laughs> Uh, we all just rode on top of this, so... The tower is here. As it's moving its way towards you. 
Shroud, unfortunately, is a bit further out. Yeah, so we can take a bit of a detour, but still technically on the way. Mm-hmm. And god damn it, this is why I hate being back in New York. Nice squiggle, Ari. I'm just doing it right in the middle of the map. I'm just sitting there like, hmm. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> I mean, no worries. I can just make it into something else there, eventually. <laughs> so glad. Ah, for heaven's... For the nine hell's sake. Can those sirens please shut up already? Jeez Louise, it's like an emergency every single day. Alright, so you guys are heading to the... To the tower. Alright. Oh, so with that, I do need a uh, somebody to roll. I need three check rolls. The first one will be survival to get to the path, and then I need another one with perception, and then another person to do me a D100. Uh, I want to oh do boy. the D100. <laughs> Damn it. Well, I kind of want to, but I'll do perception. Um, I mean, I've got a halfway decent survival. Yeah, I'll do perception then after survival. Jeebus, then if you want to go first. Oh, bam! Tess. I hate it here. I hate what? it what? here. What was that? What was that? What was that fucking saying? I rolled a two. <laughs> oh, I rolled okay. a four! Okay, hold you on. Suck. I just need to write this down. We're doing amazing. That's why we're the best team there is. Uh huh. This is why we're here to save the world from the gods. God damn it, we're the heroes. <laughs> the heroes yes. is a stretch of the word. We are the people in charge of protection, which is a little bit different. Okay. We're the protagonists, how about that? That's fair. <laughs> okay. Uh, with that, it was a 44. All right, so someone that is not uh, Tyrion in Adderie or Mavis, please roll me a D8. That's always a good sign. A D8? Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. Roll 20. I can, I can only go downhill from here. <laughs> <laughs> um, it kind of is, so hold on. <laughs> yeah. I need to set up the map a little bit <laughs> and change some stuff. <laughs> and then, are you sure we're going the right way? We passed that tree like five times. I'm bleeding. Oh my god. You literally said, I know the way, I know the way, hopped <laughs> up and down, and then started riding. Oh yeah, that shit. <laughs> that shit ran off like eight minutes ago. I have. Yeah. I forgot what happened in the last ten minutes. Yeah, oh, uh, so gosh. we're gonna we're gonna go over this way. So the survival, Tyranny, you were so hopped up that as you passed through everybody and informed other people, you were talking so fast that they only caught the fourth of every other word that you said as you just bolted out faster than the blue blur. Well, that's all they actually saw, and um, <clears throat> everyone else had to struggle to catch up with you. But, uh, Adaria, with your perception, you realize that Tyrion, while was going the right way, was getting a little too impatient waiting for some of you guys and took a wrong turn. As you do notice, some of the landmarkings is similar, but also slightly different, and you also started seeing uh, corpses of the Hive Stinger tribe. And, uh, looks to be like puddles of frogs. I would definitely go in somewhat of the right way, but also the wrong way. Now, with Navis's, uh, D100 and Arizel's 1. So, Mavis. And yes. everyone that has a, a past perception above a 15, you do hear the sounds of battle. Not too far off, about less than five minutes away. And with our results one. Well, 
was in the actual fuck. What? I don't hear anything. Hear the... I don't so... hear anything either. Everything you guys... good? You guys are up here. It's a tiny thing in the road. I don't know, and I don't want to know. Yeah, so as you guys are just walking right in, you do see, uh... Well, looks to be like the effect, uh, the after effects of fireball being spanned. Oh. And emerging looks to be like portals, because uh, these guys are not actually fighting alone. I don't think I have control over New Helena. Let me see. You should, but. Uh, I may have just forgot about that. One second. Oh, I'm a bad DM. I didn't give her her spells. I'll leave it to you. She's ba Ah, oh, okay, yeah. Alright, so... Change that. Jeebus, can you uh, provide her spells? Because I... I'm a bad DM and I didn't give her her prep spells for the day. Okay. Let me just check. She's a whip. Wow, okay. Alright. What kind of cleric is she, though, Miser? Because she also gets special. Oh. Yeah, she's a war domain. Okay. Don't worry, I can figure this out. Yeah, because I gotta refill that map because apparently all the slots I put in there were uh, missing, except for the two big ones. Even know it was there. <laughs> Fine, a little red thing just sitting there. What is that? I'm gonna shift Z just to see what it is. Nope. Nothing there. It's probably just some uh, random nothing. Deleted, so. <laughs> And there's probably more to come from the looks of it, but uh, you definitely see the very recognizable leftovers of uh, high stinger drones and warriors. And they are completely and they are completely ignoring you because their main focus is trying to kill these oversized uh, red and blue frogs. More interesting is that uh, the red, blue, and green ones seem to be following orders from the much smaller, more decorated uh, black ones. Oh, that's what that is. Oh. Well, shit. I mean... How you want to proceed is up to you. You do see that, uh, well, the bugs are losing. Wow, these lucky bastards are actually holding on. And you also see in this location that they're holding not only a formation, but more of them are coming out from that hole. Uh, 
I do not think we know what hard. Aww. First I can't kill Shroud, now I can't kill these guys? Considering one group's going to probably turn on us, and the other one's gone, the other one is just flat out, period. The slots are not something to really fuck with, to be quite honest. I was not expecting them to be that big. I thought they'd be bigger. In all honesty... She's 11th level. level, she has five fucking cantrips, god damn it! Yeah. We could either try to sneak around or pray to God so they don't see us. Well, he's out here. Let's see, Tyrion and Arizel, you're more up close. Could you roll me a perception? <laughs> Tyrion, perception. Bro, we are on a hot streak tonight of ass. <laughs> I'm good at seeing things. Yeah, they are. Uh... I'm even better. <laughs> why, why am I always up front? <laughs> Let me see. Not the smartest ones. But any of them recognize you guys or uh, notice that there's more company now? God, I hope not. Yeah, because they're the ones facing your direction. The bugs are uh, <laughs> facing against them, so they're not even bothered. No. They are just focused on killing the bugs in front of them. Let me just roll the green ones. Nah, you guys are good. <laughs> You're just seeing a uh, bunch of frogs getting more and more excited about killing a bunch of bugs. I mean, that looks like a pretty decent spell list. Should we just let them go and just try to go around? Or we want to intervene with that, the people that actually know this shit. Syndrome. She seems to know the most. Really, don't we should mess with these. Just say, if we can get around them, it might be a better idea than actually engaging. You literally see the yeah. drones doing their best to swarm. I sadly don't see a weak flank though where we can get around them unless we go further back and double back through. Oddly enough, you guys can roll me investigation. Oh, good. Another roll to fail. Oh my god! There we uh, go. I am fucking I'm killing I'm sorry! <laughs> Dude, we are on it. My a god, <laughs> have I rolled above a five today? <laughs> oh man <You> damn <laughs> okay so I'm stuck on this rock here <laughs> alright so so These far are our most powerful PCs too <laughs> so unfortunately only Adaria and Arizel noticed this but the slots don't seem to be all that bothered by the bugs swarming them in fact they seem to be relishing the uh the close proximity of their uh, enemies as some of them are biting and stabbing with their weird uh, claws. Well, Slod's masochists. I feel like we could just walk around the <laughs> <laughs> Two different questions. <laughs> Look, 
up about these characters really well. <laughs> and uh, going with your high investigation, Arzel, you see that the uh, these two particular slots in the back, standing behind the two green ones, have opened up a portal. They summon seven more slods into the fight. Oh, you are fucking kidding me. I'm liking the idea to go back and double around again more now. Uh, how far are we from town? You guys are about two hours off now. How far right. is it in, like, the tower? Well, oh, the tower itself? You're still uh, a good day. Considering how big it is and it's been stated, could we at least, like, see anything at all, or is it too wooded to be able to? I'd say you're still a bit far off. Okay. We're okay. only, like, two hours from town. If they keep going in the direction we're coming from, think about what's going to happen. The problem also is, Tannen, do you want to fight all this? And point so. We don't know it, half of yes. the shit we're facing. a stupid question. Sindra, you can make me an Arcana advantage since you know something about slods. I didn't expect a stupid answer. For or, uh, if you want, you can actually say it to the group. <laughs> I'll give it to you since you already got the good knowledge on it. You know something particularly nasty about the red and uh, blue slods? <clears throat> they do have a habit of infecting people. With the is that how I would say that? <laughs> really, that's kind of the problem, is the fight there was kind of a downhill battle. Uphill. Whichever. So what? We do hit and run tactics, pray that they at least get somewhat taken out, and then pray they don't go to the town either? We should probably warn the town. Oh, thank God, so I have this. As she pulls out her sending stone. We could have, um... Then have Sun warn people if he's still there. That way we don't have to waste anything either. Oh, dear Lord, they're winning. We should really get out of here. Yeah, I'm fine. We're doubling back. Why is there a question then? Yes. Because I, I know it varies from DM to DM. Since this stone is linked to the other one, it's more like a walkie talkie slash cell phone yes. than it is like the actual. Okay, cool. I guess as she's turning around to go the other way to kind of help just remove her from the map because she's disappearing and trying to not. I am going to uh, roll uh, one more for the uh, slots because you guys are standing right out in the open. <laughs> He's a rolls of ten! <laughs> Dude, we are getting by. Well, you're gonna have to... We'll see. Oh, well, I mean, these guys are stupid. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think anyone can roll well tonight. Not even Miser. Never mind. You you had to say words. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, so it was this red slot here. As uh you guys begin to move. Turn in you uh you feel like uh you see uh the little sinks Helena pointing in that direction. You turn and you see that this one red slot that's currently in the middle of fighting with one of the high stinger warriors is pointing at you. And all the other ones starting to look at you now in your direction. Oh no, he takes out both of his weapons. We've been spotted. <clears throat> yeah, if you fucking die, I'm not bringing you back again. That's her <laughs> job now. He points at Helena. I'll see what I can do. She cracks her knuckles. <laughs> she takes out a pocket full of diamonds, turned and handed her. So fun. you guys can still attempt to run, but it is now initiative. Me. 
Got... Of course they roll when it comes to combat. <laughs> oh my god, I actually beat the Rangers somehow. <laughs> the fighter with a 22 deck sitting down here less than 10. Well, Tannen. Favorite element before the shit gets hit the, hits the fan: wind, ice, water, or fire. I'm just gonna give all the high singers just uh, one roll. Uh, uh, water, I guess. All right. Pray to God that's. Oh wait. Pray to God something does dumb doesn't happen. Oh, it's only a five. Never mind. That's not too bad. It's a five percent chance. <laughs> I was looking at the you-know-what visor. I know, as I'm saying. Yeah, 5%. And if you said water... With the water, way water. we've been rolling tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well. Okay, so I'm going to switch to the battle music as the particular black ones here in the back as if almost on cue with the red one pointing your direction, they look and there is a uh, wickedness into their eyes. And they are definitely smiling as they point in your direction. Oh, they're here to kill us, specifically. And now... Where's our goop guy when we need him? <laughs> so, uh, someone message him? Maybe? I don't know. Let me see. I know I got a message. Oh, shit. You know, I kind of thought you you heard something from him. That's why I piped I up earlier. Yeah. That's why I, now I'm waiting. I'm like, huh. He's uh, so missing. <laughs> Hopefully, uh... <coughs> we can get that. Hence... Alright, you've been great. You get the funny spell. Oh, man. And I already had that prepared. So, anyway. <clears throat> ah, okay. You got stuck in uh, traffic. Alright, well. It is what it is. So, they don't know what you guys really are, but they definitely know that you are living, breathing creatures. So, centered here. The two of them are going to cast Cloud Kill. Oh, whoops. Uh, One second. I hate that range. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, let me just uh, fix that a second. I'm gonna use his ability to just fucking run in. <laughs> where is it? Where is it damaged Here we go. Fuck. What's that thing? Oh, I think they're way too far. Oh, yeah, Mage Slayer. Super way too far. Yeah, I was gonna say. That only gives you, like, what, your movement as a reaction? No, th I think they need to be within 30 feet. Casting a spell? Yeah. Yeah. Well, these are actually intelligent, well, not wise, but, uh, let me click that well, again. Shannon, See that got work. It, thank you. There we go. What did I do? So that's the first I one. I didn't start the fight, he did. I pointed the red slot. <laughs> <laughs> Almost, so almost, almost as if understanding your uh, your comp, uh, your complaint. It's just smiling with madness. Oh, there's the second one. There's two. Oh my god. So, one that does uh, 26, and the other one does 21. The DC is 15. As they both uh, cast. Um, what's that gun? Oh wait, it's on. Can I, can I, like, dodge one of these? You can do uncanny dodge. Wow. <laughs> ah. wow. Oh, I'm doing uncanny dodge, because yes, I don't want that. Bitch. <laughs> I'll just do the first one. What is it? Constitution for both? 
Yes, yeah. Constitution saving throw. These oh. these two frogmen in the very back, the little guys, just cast spells on you. Uh, is it's it a saver? Oh no, it's not saver side. It's save in half. Okay, I have math to do. Uh, it's thirteen. Oh, this bench oh, only half for four. I'm not gonna do this. Okay. No, I I have so many resistances and so much division. Oh God. We're doing so well. Page. We're doing oh, fantastic, guys. Uh, due to this the is poison damage. Yep. Oh wait, I have resistance from spells. I forgot about that completely. <laughs> well, so I only took six from the first one. Let me add another six back on, and I took half damage. Thank God for my arm that I completely forgot about, because no one's been casting spells at us for a while. So six, and then so I'm taking sixteen. Um, ten or eleven, my for the twenty-one. Uh, what was the so... damage? Uh, 26 and 21. Oh, we only have 26 the first one. So, yeah, so round down. So be, uh, if you resist or save, it'll be a 13 and a 10. And if you resist or uh, resist or save again, or another one, that would be fi uh, 6 and 5. That's a sufficiency bonus against a reaction for themselves only. Advantage on making spell spelling abilities. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, I can bypass resistance and immunity. Okay. I, so, I just was looking at my arm because it's been a while since someone's cast a spell at me. Yep, yeah, and I'm just being a little bit on the lazy side. Is Helena resistant to anything? Uh, she is unfortunately a stealth uh, halfling, so she doesn't have the uh, dwarves' uh, resistance, sadly. Yeah. Fuck you, she doesn't. <laughs> Just scroll up, 26 and 21. So I know those clouds are supposed to be much larger, but, uh... Yeah, you guys are currently covered with all that, uh, fog, uh... Obnoxious, poisonous cloud. Let me look at my... Davis spells. I want to see which one sounds like the most this stuff. Disturbing. Sunflare, it, White Mute, Meteor Strike, or Tempest. I hate all of those. I mean, you can certainly give it a shot. He's taking twenty-six. It's a five percent chance, Miser, and I'm not praying to Davis for more because God doesn't like me enough today. <laughs> That was a lot of math. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry for making you do math, buddy. <laughs> no, I just have three characters. Eat some of them. Two of them have resistances. <laughs> oh, uh, my... Oh, wait, no, I have this thing for Sunburst. Never mind. No, well, I mean, uh, it's your turn now. These guys just did their uh, action to cast Cloud Kill. While also okay. pointing your direction, and a lot of the frogs are looking in your direction now. One, fuck this. To fuck all of this, Miser, I'm gonna use my staff and cast Sunburst on basically everyone in the general vicinity. <laughs> oh shit! Let me get. Okay. I'm. Is that the? Uh, is... me off. Yeah. Okay. Oh my so, god! So uh, roll me that first. Roll me the d100. We're praying, boys, that I don't roll the five or below. <laughs> Sunglasses. <laughs> Okay, good. I'll ping the spell. I don't have the damage set up, I don't think, on this yet. Uh, what is it? 12d6 radiant damage and blinded for a turn. So I'm just gonna fucking drop the actual new content. That's what you're going to do, so... Uh... Roll the no, damage... I'll... Just roll the damage yeah. dice first, and then I'll start rolling their, uh, cons. I hope they hate radiant damage. <laughs> That's kind of weak. Okay. A lot just... of sixes, but some... Actually, that's not bad. There oh. is... There's the warrior. And I'm also going on the same turn as the... Uh... These 
things wouldn't happen to be undead and or oozes, would they? Sadly, no. Okay, so, uh... So. He passed by just a point. <laughs> Get that drone. God damn it! Well, these are insects. That uh, that's the insects. Now you want the frogs. And well, they're uh, gonna hit with the fucking sun too. I am sorry, but they do have magic resistance. Um, let me read something real quick, just to make sure. Um, how's my? Oh, my other tech. Okay, you're fine. Does Helena have any armor on? Or is she just running around out here in a t-shirt? She does have armor. She's a war cleric. Oh. Like oh, I said... What kind? You didn't give her any? Uh, just give her a simple scale mail for now. <laughs> and a shield. Oh, and a shield. Fine. Okay. That's so much better than the 12 <laughs> she had. <laughs> Like I said, I I felt bad as a as a DM for not equipping her properly. Like, I was like, I knew I forgot something. No, no, you should just yeah, you should just like you forgot. It happens all the all the time. Yeah, right, so all these so let, just, me, so let me tell you, I definitely have a sheet for Elric's daughter. <laughs> Unfortunately, slods do have magic resistance, so that's fine. That makes total sense. Let me see, that was the red, death, blue, and here's the green. Alright, that, that took her 12 to a 16. That's so much better. <laughs> they, all, they all saved. The bugs only saved by pure luck. The slods are cheaters because they have the, the magic resistance because of their species. I'm assuming it didn't do more damage. All. No, Radiant. it did hurt them all. Especially the bugs. They're, they're, uh, I'm just gonna just have one of them have red. Oh joy. I fucking hate these things already. And as they saw the little light coming down before it exploded, they all covered the, the, the slots immediately covered their eyes while the bugs, because of their single-mindedness, were still trying to take advantage of fighting the, uh, the slods. So, they got hit, but they're not as singed or blind. Is that it for you, uh, Adaria? Okay, Mavis, you're up. These frogs uh, just casted some weird greenish clouds and you're coughing, hacking. Yeah. And you heard Adaria say something and a uh, bright light came in from a distance. Didn't hurt your eyes this time, but uh, all the frogs are looking at your direction. <laughs> Or a hill, like could I w walk up here, or would I have to climb a little bit? Uh, it's definitely a hill. It's not difficult terrain. You will have uh, it is uh, it's not steep, but it is a climbing hill. Right, 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 right. Okay. And if I made it to the top, could I still see everybody, or is it? Yes, and no, they will also see okay. you. And they will also see you. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Don't know what to do. <laughs> well, you gotta get okay. out of the cloud of fog. Yeah. 
tell you okay, right now. Okay, well, I will... That. I'm gonna start heading up the hill. Um, to about... here. God, I forgot how fucking insane the spell is. And... those? Yeah, I have a lot of them. I must have made a shit ton. You did. <laughs> I also have nominally arrows, but not as much. Um. So which one are you shooting at? I'm, I'm thinking. Because I'm trying to remember if I have it written somewhere that nominally does, um, I think it's five feet of damage. Mm-hmm. Okay, because it's explosive. Um, so I'll do one to this one. Actually, no, I want to hit the big guys. I'll hit this blue one. Okay. Oh, wait, are the blue ones and the red ones on different teams? No, the little guys and the, the giant little... bug monster are, They're different are there. Oh, yeah. yeah. So Perfect. I'll do Ooh. this it... blue one. Okay. And whatever that is <laughs> for my two versus two. Okay, I'll just I'll just make this clear. It's basically bugs versus frogs. <laughs> yeah, we're sure the frogs are going to kill us. We're really not super sure if the bugs are. We're about ninety percent sure. I've, they're still grouped. <laughs> yeah. At the moment, the, uh, the moment these the two are uh, right next to each other. They'll get some. They'll get some snuff. Oh, no, well, I, I, I'm arguing with everybody else. Oh. We have literally never met them before, so I'm optimistic. Mm. No, we, we have met them once. Yeah, yeah, they've killed them once and tried to murder I've reported about them. <laughs> I was going to say, we've met the Hype Stingers a few times. Um, they have these ones. Well, you remember? Yes, we have. Mm. They're literally a Hype Find. We literally have these to start friends. Fun. When you evacuated, they invaded, remember? I'm gonna bonus action cast Hunter's Mark okay. on the first one that I said, so that blue guy. Okay. Let me just mark and him. And my... Okay, my, this is my first one. Boom. Second one, which went to this one, and then my third one, um, brain, stop, uh oh, oh. Oh, oh, we're fine. The third one will go to this blue guy. And this one, I'm going to use one of my, uh, the, the bolt, the light bolt of Zeus. Okay. So, unclick anomaly. So who's already fighting, so he's a little bit on the red. Um... Oh. He also got singed. Okay, and then third extra damage. I, do, I, do I just use my bow to shoot it? 
Yes. Okay. All right. Fuck, it you're scary. Ping, which one you were shooting again? Those one, I think. It was? This third one, yeah. Okay, so want to make sure. All right, he was already wounded from that blast, and I took another one. So, Mavis, and I'll give this to you because you're a natural hunter and fighter in this one. The frogs don't seem to be as bothered by the elemental effects of your bow. They still got hurt from the piercing as it goes in, but when the after effects started to kick in, they weren't as in much pain. The bugs, however, they suffered from the full effect and pain of the getting shot in the back. <clears throat> also, I need, since you're standing there, uh, are you ending your turn? Um, actually, yep. I can't hang out. Okay. I need you to make me a strength saving throw or a dexterity saving throw as you feel the earth beneath you starting to rumble. Okay. okay. You kept your balance, but you do feel like something is uh, moving underground. Alright. Wait. Why do the blue slots have to... Like, did I fuck up and... Sometimes I do that. Let's see. Yeah, you have. It looks like you have two blue slots. It looks like you have. You, um. All right. Where is red? Are the hive stingers supposed to be on initiative? They should have been. Or were they? Because you have no hive stingers on initiative right now. I think that was them. Wait. Hold on. Syndra. Green slot. Yeah, it was actually the high. Actually, it was the high stingers in this one. Okay, hold on. Let's uh, fix that very quickly. Delete this. I was like, what the heck happened here? All right. The drones are basically the. Alright, and then change that to a 19. That was their score. Alright, so just in time. As, uh, well, Mavis, you feel the earth rumbling, and something comes charging out of that entrance. That really big bug. That's all I'm gonna yell is big bug. I don't want it. Uh, let me see. He was charging a moment ago. He was starship troopers with frogs. <laughs> that looks awesome. <laughs> so he's going to take one, two, three, four, five attacks of opportunity. It only has one single-minded purpose. Why do I feel like we're stepping into something we really shouldn't be a part of? That's just no, really, really. Like really? <coughs> it's not my fault fucking Terranin is Terranin. Oh, I one, didn't do anything! Two, three. You pulled your He's... sword and... He and saw the... Binge! <laughs> Wait, why am I being blamed for this? Because <laughs> you're big. Let's just be honest, it's Adria's fault. What yeah. the fuck did I do? Be loud! I was talking quietly. Oh my you god, only yelling. one hit? <laughs> okay. You're do, you to, do you want me to roll, or is it going to take me a while to get there? Uh, just get your butt over there uh, in the corner, and uh, okay. roll initiative, buddy. <laughs> you should see an entire uh, army of frogs and bugs fighting each other. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, Con. I love how he threw himself in the actual corner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's not infected, and now I get to roll this for the uh, 
Well, you now see a new uh, insect is called the High Stinger Raider, and it only has one op it only has one job. <laughs> well, <laughs> some people are gonna go fly. Oh my job! Just kill the big guy at the back. <laughs> Thank God I'm leaving. Fuck out of here. I am bouncing right, the fuck so out. Alright, so that was... No. <coughs> I'm not touching this. Okay, so... Roll strength. One, two, three. Okay, two of them are gonna get uh, knocked prone. So I'm just gonna put a little green dot. What in the Warhammer 40k is that fucking thing? I found this thing long ago. I wanted to use it on you guys, but you rolled so well that you didn't encounter one of them. Not nice. tonight. Well, there's a reason why you encountered this one. There's several ones we've rolled already. Yeah. Also, that one death slot that it just decided to literally sit right on top of him. Uh, let me see. Actually, he has a roll uh, con uh, con save to keep his concentration. But he just got ran over. So first is for the spell. Actually, no. First is the uh, to get knocked prone, which is strength. He's knocked prone. Now the con. Ah, I believe. Yeah, he keeps his uh, concentration. Oh man, he's probably not gonna fail. Yeah, that, that's it. There is a con save to uh, keep his concentration. <laughs> you know, he got ran over. <laughs> so all of you, even though you're uh, covering the cloud and everything else, Adaria and Mavis, you see this very large bug just come charging out the... out the hole, ran over its own allies, and it just went right into the frogs. So I'm just going... Let me see. Make sure I don't... Uh, do, okay. He was not in the path. But these guys were. The longer we, the longer we stay here, the more I fucking hate it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. All right. Well, this guy was knocked prone, so I'm gonna have all you guys do me a roll. Roll me. One of you guys just roll me a D100. Not it. Yeah. I've kind of yeah, not it. Have one of those. We've all had our turn. That means a salad. Oh, there we go. Ten. Okay. That means more bugs are coming out. Uh, Mavis, you feel rumbling in the oh ground. <laughs> it's the same rumbling as you felt before. Well, you'd be a little optimistic. If we help them fight, they may not attack us. As they know, the one is starting to come out. <laughs> Unfortunately, like, that was. <clears throat> I may not get drunk by drinking a decent amount of beer. Unfortunately, that's yeah, his just, full no, movement. Like, that's a good beer. assumption. Like, you might not, though. I hate it here. I want to leave. Alright. I could go through, like, a case of Cooter's Light and not feel a fucking thing. Cheers. I remember when I used to have alcohol tolerance. Alright. Makes fun of my ex, Sam. Cause it's Ears. Coors. Coo. C-O-O. Coo. It's Coors. Like the other side of my oh, pillow. Coors line. Yeah. Coors. Mm. Some yay of beer. Hmm. There's people who say Coors and I want to kill them. Like a demon core? No, I mean, that was literally just the Wisconsin in me coming out. Coors Light. Like, some people go, oh, I'll drink Coors. No, oh. that's not how it's spelled, dude. Sorry. No, it's C-O-O-R, so Oars. <laughs> no, Mizer's just fighting right. himself. This is a good time for us to vamp. Yeah, yeah. no, but also Mavis. <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's not. It's Coo, O-O, Ooh, a pool. Mavis. Stool. Mavis. <laughs> Oars, Mavis. What? <laughs> I, like, I like to remind you, or at least inform you, that one of the blue frogs had just ran past the hive stingers and seeing a very viable target. Well, yeah. and they tried to sting them, but uh, they couldn't get the stinger through the fleshy uh, stomach of this thing. 
Mavis, how you doing over there? <laughs> yelling about beer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yelling at Kieran about me. She know how to read. <laughs> Why do I feel like talking about meat is like something Bozomar is doing? <laughs> Oh, what's what's Bozomar doing right now? Is he just being a little bitch? He is in the bag. As, uh, Mavis, you do hear. Throw this <laughs> tiny dragon at him. I honestly forgot he was in my bag. Yes. He kind of is. You just see a snout poke out. like, heads up, big blue frog. <laughs> As, uh, there's a big blue frog towering over you. It tries to bite you, and it gives you two claw attacks. Which. Oh, that's. Those, the claws are the ones you need to avoid. Oh, the twenty-four does. I um, need you to let me, me look a... at my. I have the the earth form of the sword. Give me a minute. I also need to roll me a con save. Will do. Uh... Um, discipline earth. I have resistance to slashing. So um, that'll be helpful. You said a what? A con save. Lucky you, you're not, inf you avoid being, uh, infected. I really hope this isn't one of the copyrighted tracks, because I fucking love this one. Same. If it is, oh well. <laughs> At this point, who cares? It's not like we make money off of these anyway. We're getting close, actually. Uh. Not really. We're getting a couple, like, quite a few views, so. Yes. Well, shit. Well... Okay, well... I mean, you can use copyrighted music as long as you, like, reference something. Because I've seen, like, stuff where they use, like, only snippets, not the whole thing, though. Yeah, yeah that's injured. the problem. We're using the whole fucking thing. Let's True. make sure I'm not exactly. deleting the... Run. Okay, I'm just gonna put you... have, like, five there. seconds of a song. Five to ten, but yeah. But, uh... Some of the frogs have been, uh... Are delete some of the blue frogs are deleting the, uh, smaller guys. In fact, you, uh, Mavis, you get a good view after this one was trying to, uh, bite and stab you. Some of these guys are just tearing apart the small bugs. Arizel, you're in a smelly cloud. <clears throat> you heard something rumbling. <clears throat> well, how dense is this cloud? Like, can I kind of see what's going on in front of me? Or, like, so dense, I can't tell. It's dense, you... Can't quite tell, but you do see the outlined figures of large creatures fighting each other. You felt the ground rumbled. And maybe it says something about a very big bug. I don't want it. Okay, well, I can't see much, so I'm gonna have to step outside of the cloud to see shit. And probably like one more square. There we go. I'm actually technically out of the cloud. Yes, um, I just made them small for convenience sake of my own sanity. <laughs> 30. Okay, alright. I take a look. I'm not liking it. <laughs> nope, and you also see some of the frogs got uh, trampled under by the two really big bugs that are coming out of the hole. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, do I... Do I send light piss these things off. <laughs> Already tried that. I hit them with the nuke. They were like cockroaches. They said no. They're like, I'll just go here. <laughs> they are hurt. I will say that. They are hurt. Yeah, usually when you drop a nuke on something, you expect some damage. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like the fact that there's two gigantic bugs, so this is not going to be great. Awesome. I'm thinking about Malthus getting death fly nuked one time that just kept coming. <laughs> <laughs> it did oh, damage. I, I didn't say it would kill. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I am going to. Yeah, zap, zap. If I can, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna try to zap that big bug into all of the stars. I don't know if she's gonna. Oh, it does. Fantastic. So you're zapping this one. 
Uh, the one, yeah, that one. So, like... I'm gonna measure it out real quick, because I want to make sure it's Okay. It updated, so I'm like, I don't... What do you want from me? <laughs> Come back. <laughs> so, like, I don't know. Okay. Uh, about there, if I'm not, like, zapping Mavis. Okay, so you, you, are, you are going 100 feet, so you can go a lot further. Yeah, I'm going 100 feet, so there's more. I just don't have, like, my screen isn't pulled down enough to go 100 feet. Okay, so, so. I will make the suggestion of... Yeah, you can just go this way without zapping uh, Mavis. Okay. Okay, cool. Fortunately, awesome. no, fro no frogs were harmed by the effects of this lightning. <laughs> God, you know, that's fine. <laughs> oh, you're, oh, you're gonna go that direction? Okay. No, I'm not going that direction. That was, that was, uh, Syndra. <laughs> Showing me another direction of what could be done. Ah, okay. I see, uh, I, I see the different line color. So, going with Ari Zells is only the Raider and the Warrior. So, uh, roll the damage and I'll roll their dexterity same though. They're really good at it. Yeah. I don't like it. Okay. Before I mess up and like roll the wrong thing here. That's not too bad. And the raider. <laughs> Hello, just take half. If only there was a lost ark. Then we'd be so much better off. <laughs> well, half was more than enough for this guy here because he was already getting uh, beaten up by the frogs. Amazing. And so was this guy, unfortunately, the smaller one because he got uh, trampled by his bigger oh. brother. <laughs> Don't say aw, they will kill us. <laughs> hey Shub, you had a discussion with Syndra and some of the others about uh extra planar frogs, and there's a big cloud of uh smelly gases in front of you. But you see some okay. optional food. Um <laughs> Isn't Shub fucking immune to poison? Yes. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> That cloud means fucking nothing to you. It just smells funny. And now everyone is covered in darkness. Killing us. <laughs> That's first. Now I got sixty-five. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh wait, this is that advantage because I'm in darkness. I have to re-roll that. Yeah, fish that uh, fish that nat twenty as everybody you suddenly feel darkness go over you besides a smelly cloud, and it just passes by you. All right. Yeah, not bad. You take a bite out of this guy. He looks uh surprised. Something actually bites him instead. <laughs> And then I'll just go for another bite. Biggs, you are on that darkness again. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God, I have to fucking. <laughs> the owl eyes, yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd be very annoyed. This. Yeah, Adderi, you just see uh, Shubrum pass you, emitting the strange darkness, and he just goes and takes a bite out of the really bigger frog. <laughs> oh, now it smells bad, and I can't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I actually decide to buy these. <laughs> and that's my turn. Mavis, you're covered in darkness, but you hear the sounds of, uh, well, you can only guess is Shub biting the big frog, because it is... Now saying something in a strange language that 
is unfortunately slawed. <laughs> Alright, so now all the followers on uh, <laughs> Binge's uh, group can go. Alright, the Binge crew starts off by getting directly in front of... Uh... So, uh, I can't see the aura. Is he in the darkness? Because obviously he wouldn't choose that. Yes. Yeah, I'll see if I can... Maybe it's something I did. It's a Miser. Miser can enable it, I think. You can For everybody? Okay. Yeah, hold on. Let me, uh... Do, 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 do. I don't know if there's something I did. No, it's, a uh... DM layer. Yeah. And the DM has to do it every single time. There's no way just to set it fucking permanently, and I think it's the uh, stupidest okay. shit. You guys see it? Okay, Binge was here. He can move. Fuck. Yeah, right. I know. Uh, you do I know he has tremor sense, too. Dude. Oh, Pinch has Tremor Sense. Fantastic. Uh, Pinch is going to move over here then. And him and uh, his new daughter are going to start killing shit. Uh, okay, can't use that. Uh, range five feet. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna... uh, so it's going to be the Halberd. We're going to try to send this slot into the earth it's never been on before. Crushing blow. Alright, I will say I will not have Melina in uh, combat because she's not a, really a combatant. No. But she's a baby. <laughs> yes. Strength but saving throw. Binge got a little uncomfy because Helena doesn't live in his armor anymore. Now a tiny Sphinx does. Well, she's not really tiny, but she's close to it. Let's see. Uh, well, he managed to save, but he still got hurt. Okay, well, we're gonna fucking smack him. Man, he's almost dropped. You can see the guts are just hanging out. Alright, Helena, Helena. Um, what is this spell? I don't know what this spell is. Uh, that's super cool, but can't use it yet. Helena is going to pop Spirit Guardians. Alright. And, oh god, how much movement does she have? I didn't check that. She should have a base of right. Uh, and she is going to just kind of run up next to, uh, <laughs> Probably run into the back, back of that area. Let's just give her another aura. <laughs> it's the battle of the auras. Why the? Wait. Oh. Why is the aura not tied to her? <laughs> oh wait. Whoops. I know why. I clicked the wrong item. <laughs> oh, did you click a torch? Yeah. Question by there then, just so I know. Um. The dark vision magical, is that just, uh, that's just, uh, witch's sight? What's that? The what now? There's a thing on the algos that says dark vision magical. That's just witch's sight, right? Yeah. Where I could... Okay. Yeah, uh, the aura I have is just second level darkness. Oh, okay, then yeah. So it's not that crazy. Okay, why is it still here? Yeah, there. Edits. Good thing I got two monitors to work with. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Yay, Miser's got his setup back. Uh, kind of. Sort of. All right. Is that it for uh, Helena and Ben? Since we got Cinder, who could probably nuke a whole lot of these guys now. Hopefully. Syndra? That was my turn? Yes, it is your turn. Oh, I hope I didn't get the hell out of the fog. Yeah.
since the clouds are going to move in that way, I'm just going to delete those for now. Oh, uh, actually, no. Turn in still in it. <laughs> you know I'm going to be moving. I know. <laughs> Tyrannid, the melee fighter's gonna stay back and just hang out. <laughs> now that's some jerk no, decides to cast whole person just leave you in there. I go next, unless Sinter's gonna be a complete asshole. I think I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> Plot twist, there's a, they're actually sorcerer slots and they bumped it down to reaction. <clears throat> the death ones are oh. all the way in the back. I just got ran over by the big enemy. Shit, can I? Well, <laughs> I mean, can't see shit because of shoves. This is where I'm at. Cinder, just hold your action. Your flashlight's about to turn on. All right, hold an action. Just shoot when I got a chance. Okay. Well, uh, what's gonna be your trigger and what you're gonna fire for that action? What I can see in the cantrip. Okay. Well. Here's your uh, your portable flashlight <laughs> or flashbang. Portable that... flashlight. His first idea, uh, <coughs> because he can't fucking see anything, and it's super helpful anyway. Uh, hey, Miser, are you okay if I just roll a uh, actual D4 for my uh, passive healing? Yes. Okay. That's a three. I've been doing it without asking you, but I wanted to make sure it was bad just to ask you now. I trust you. I'm, I'm watching. It? I'm watching all the health bars and everything. <laughs> Where is it? Uh, Where the fuck is it? Uh, is this it? Uh, it's bonus action. Yeah, there we go. Bam! Flashlight turns on. I now have blur, and also I have a ten foot radius of light. Let's make yours blue. I'm sorry, I just put a dot in the world for everybody. Why am I grabbing the wrong items? <laughs> Don't you get? <laughs> You're probably on the light layer. What yeah. am I thinking you are? Get rid of that. <laughs> Alright, but the, the flashlight is going down here, and um, as this has worked before, I create this little pocket of shit you can see in his darkness. Yep. It's 10 feet, and yes, I did get far enough away from Shub, so he gets his movement bonus just as I get mine. <laughs> Alright, Syndra, your action is ready since uh, flashlight went go boom and <laughs> now everything can be seen. Which is why I haven't hit anything yet. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh they're that very smart. <laughs> they're very smart. That's a blue. Okay, you just rolled them. I mean, fuck, that's still fantastic. Mine is the one that does extra shit too, right? Yeah, they take... 1d4 from his next saving throw, eh? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> He, he wasn't much left in him. Okay, so I haven't measured from here. But I'm good. Oh, yeah. So, Miser. Uh-huh. You know how I'm a dragon, right? Yes. <laughs> you know how I'm a fighter, right? Uh-huh. Axe and Surge Breath Weapon twice. <laughs> I'll allow it. And, uh, so you guys, in this little pocket of darkness, you see Tyranid's spines, spy, spying, uh, glow a rainbow of colors, but then solidify into this deep, deep purple as I switch my breath weapon into force damage. Now I'm simply going to begin to understand what the fuck is going on there. Outside of these become the rainbow. <laughs> I'm scrolling on the wrong push sheet. Uh, yeah, then you got Zilla. Breath, left, <laughs> <and> empowered <laughs> breath. 
Uh, nothing else is on. I wonder if he got a bing, not a boom. There's a rainbow with that. Actually, he's got Zuki. There we go. <laughs> <Not> Zuki. <coughs> So I'm going to ask, what element are you using again? Fire? Force. Force damage. He's actually Godzilla minus 10. I'm trying so hard not to laugh. <laughs> but at the same time... Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to blast, I'm a blast I this way. Okay, I start with the death slots first. And you lucky uh, son of a gun, you picked the right element for them. <laughs> I, I, was, I read through the, the elements I could, uh, I could use and was like... I think, like, there are two things in the universe that are resistant to force damage. I'm gonna roll it twice because this is against two of your breath weapons. Wow. Ah, poo. Okay, that's the death slot. So, let me just write that down. Well, uh, oh, no, he passed on the higher damage one. Yeah. He failed the first one, but he took, uh, half of the... Now, that is actually a significant damage difference. Yeah. He still took a lot, though. Actually, hold on. I think the one that got trampled is dead. <laughs> yeah, sorry, big green dude, but you are in the perfect code range. Uh, I hope you don't hate me for this. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm just gonna get him. Those guys were ran over. And if you do, oopsie poopsie. All right, now uh, let's see. We got one, two. Yeah, that image is so fucking cool. We got two of uh, the blues that got blasted. Where are you? Blues. Yeah, I'm just holding this here because yes. I can't see what's under the. Uh... Well, that's <laughs> failed. That's that's a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, one in front of him because he was already fighting the bugs. He's, uh, he's gone. <laughs> this one's in bad, uh, bad shape because he was just freshly summoned. Let's see, now we got one, two, three, four of the, no, five, six of the reds. <laughs> All right, you guys are a little bit more dexterous by one point. So this is a this, you guys hear a very different sound from what you're used to because Tyrion okay, usually 60. does thunder damage for his uh, for his breath weapon and it's usually just a big boom, but this is just the epitome of silence. Just a wave you see come out of his mouth like nobody. I think I don't think yeah nobody is like. Maybe those with the super high perception can hear the the tone that you know, he bursts out, but it's for in, in my head, it's just like a near silent wave that just pushes everything. So Tiernan just made a fucking dog whistle <laughs> roar. In my opinion, or kind of. I've never thought I'd hear Tyrion and not screaming to make something so destructive. And now the green. I, I just think this is like a concussion that just that just focuses on the interior of your skull. Well, those greens uh, knew how to handle themselves. That is a eighteen. Wow. I mean, my save's not that high, to be honest. Their dexterity is, uh, plus one, I think it is. No, plus two, so. Uh, yeah, I, I think I need to raise my con. I'm like, I'm not okay with that. Yeah, they're still pretty good. And I'm not going to roll for whatever surviving hive singers are in there, because they were low enough health. just the one already injured tiny plan. <laughs> okay, we're good. All right, uh, give me two seconds, because now I need to measure how far I ran. I, I was... I am going to roll the intelligence here. for these guys, because you did just blow up a few of their friends. So I can move that far. All right, so I got to go to 10 feet. Mm. 
Okay. The one you blasted is slowly trying to turn around to face you. The one that's standing right behind you is ignoring you and looking at the other frogs. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll deal with that when I come to it. Yes. So. I need to count down a lot of stuff now because I took a lot of my resources. Yeah. Speaking of resources, red frogs. Unfortunately, Raider cannot make uh, attack of opportunities because he doesn't have any attack like that. Uh, but he is going to have to fight the two here. Okay, so unfortunately, they cannot. Uh, they're not flanking you, so it would be at uh, disadvantage. But they are still going to take swings at you. AC twenty-five. You never know. One of those attacks might hit. No, absolutely. That's when Shub can finally suck my toes and eat the thing inside of me. <laughs> Things I did not think I would hear today. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> They're very confused as to why the small little thing that hurt them so much is hard to hit now. Yeah, they both like go in with that like I'm just picturing the death claw strike where it just does the big hug attack and Tyrion just fires up into the air and the lands. Actually I need to, I actually do need to roll the attacks against the raider because that's the one thing that actually has fresh hit points. So this is just to the raider. Of all those attacks, only one hits. <laughs> I doubt they'll get infected, but you never know. Wow. Alright. Now the green ones. And they see the little terror that just blew up their ears and mind. They don't like you, Tyranin. They're not that smart, or at least they don't know what they're dealing with. They're going to aim in your direction along with the bugs. There'll be two fireball spells coming your way. Actually, yeah, the other one that got. Uh, let me just do one more thing. Because. There we go. This is just for reference to have everyone see where everybody is at. And they are injured. I know they did the save. Because they got ran over by the big angry bug. There you go, green slot. So to Tyrion, you're getting a fireball and a lightning bolt. If they don't know what the fuck you are. So here's the fireball. Okay. I got this done right with the yes uh, that's the lightning bolt <laughs> and plus 30 <laughs> it's funny that they both roll the exact same number I overhealed <laughs> wait why is his DC not there it's, oh, one second let me check on that So, the fireball, like, he's like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> and the marble just, like, hits him in the face as he lands. And then the lightning bolt just strikes him. Can I roll a deception and you try may. to make it look like it hurt me? You may. <laughs> oh, no. Ow. Lightning, no, please. And then you're acting so bad, I think there are people dying from it. 
The two frogs stare at each other, stare at you, stare back at each other. There's a bit of a quiet nod. They look back to the one uh, behind them. <laughs> Speaking of, the one behind them, he's going to hold out an item. And I got to roll D100 for this now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it's probably going to go below a 10. Okay. <clears throat> He's gonna do the smart thing. He's gonna step back. <laughs> he just points in a few directions. But he's definitely pointing at you, Tyrannin. <laughs> Adaria! Who speaks frog! He's pointing at me! Actually, their mouths have not moved. But, uh, Adaria, you just saw Tyrion do something, and a lot of dead bodies and injuries are around. Uh, thank God. Okay. You know what? I need to do some math real quick. Hold on. Oh, this should be funny, or gonna be really horrible. I need to look at the range on this shit. Um, I'll roll my D100 in a second, by there. So, I need to look at the info. Um, oh my god. No, each creature in that coin. On a fan. Uh, when this cast and spell out in a turn, each creature must ground. Not prone. Okay. So, I'll roll my D100 first, and then I'll tell you which one of the three I'm casting, right there. Okay. Because I might need to put it behind the battlefield, because it's got a radius of, I think, 100 feet. <laughs> and I don't want to kill the party. I mean, Sunburst is pretty fun. That was 60 feet. This is not Sunburst. This is Earthquake. Oh. So just in case also to kind of shake up the ground and make sure we don't have any other friends hiding. To kind of crush them underneath. But, um... You're... So where oh, are you I aiming this? A... Yeah. Uh, I probably have to aim it off map because... <laughs> if I don't, I'll hit most of the party and myself. So... Um, actually... Damn it, Tyranin! <laughs> I hope you like shakes, Tyranin! <laughs> Mostly everything. Tyranin, your dex is good, right? <laughs> He's, um, not at his computer. Well... <laughs> I can aim it like a foot... Hold on, let me go all the way to the edge. Oh, okay, never mind. I could barely miss him if I aim it all the way at the back part. Oh, wait, no, it's 100. I will... Ah! I, I'll, I'll give it to you because you do have the range of, uh... of 500. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, my goal is to basically just cut it off, like, right where the squads are near tearing it. So, first off, let me roll the D100 and pray not for a fucking 5. That somehow isn't. Okay, I don't know how this spell works. <laughs> I've, I've used it like once. Okay. So basically everywhere... Here, I'll hold the radius out real quick. I'm also going to add that, um, considering where you guys are at right now, I will need you to roll me another D100 for reasons of um, the bug-related right. situation. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. Um, I'll hold that circle then, Miser, if someone wants to mark it, just so we know where the whole ground is going to be difficult terrain. I will actually get something on my map here, on my media. Oh, let's okay. see. On a failed save, when you pass the spell, on a failed save, knock prone. And at the end of each turn, you spend concentrating on it. The spell takes additional effect. 
effect depending on such is determined by the GM fissures. I don't know which one it's gonna be, Isaac, so that's up to you. Oops, that was the wrong item. Fissures, open threat spell air, so next turn after a total of one D6. Each is one times ten foot time ten percent from oh my god. So it's not exactly uh this element thing here, but I'm going to use this as a reference. That's fine. You might want to back it up just a little bit. Yeah, I'm doing that. I don't think it's because of the shape of it. Kiernan, did you light your <laughs> did you light your uh your flashlight in yeah. in my radius? Yeah. Ah, uh, my radius is gone. You didn't touch it. Uh, I think right? I just cut a hole through it. It's kind of really up to Miser how my smaller radius works in your larger so, one. As long as it doesn't touch the, you with it. The, the final... Miser? <laughs> yeah, you're good. Okay, to see final that. passage in Call of Darkness uh, as, um... Okay, that should be good enough, Miser. It'll get these little boys up here, but I know you can't. Also, um... I'm just gonna push this to the map. On a failed save, not prone. Just DC, depending on the nature oh. of the Oh! 54. Uh, huh. Yeah. Also, um, I don't know which one. It's either fissure, and I'm assuming not structure, because there's not many structures here. <laughs> there's another effect to it. I'm going to put oh. it this way for you. Yeah. These bugs were coming underground. I see. They didn't like that then. Um, <laughs> they're not gonna like what's gonna happen to them. <laughs> well, I guess uh, each creature. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um. I don't have an item for this. I will say that right now. That's fine. But, um... Tyranin, I do need you to make me a deck saving throw as the ground not only becomes un... Uh, becomes very unstable, but you realize that, uh... Okay, you're gonna be sliding in. Because, um... You see, these bugs are burrowing tunnels. And I... <laughs> so... All these I frogs. Like to this is like, I get hit by a fireball, a lightning bolt, and then I'm like, there's, like, where'd the ground go? Yeah, because you just watch out a rim, you just hear, turn in, watch your step, and then immediately the ground just starts shaking in front of him. Watch your step is when I'm, like, faking dying from the lightning bolt. I will just say this, Adaria, as you do this, you just see the entire ground collapse beneath all the frogs that you just picked. Yay? I guess I'm gonna need fall damage. I don't know how deep it is. Oh, good. I don't take that. <laughs> no, but the, uh, these frogs will. <laughs> Which is why I'm going onto the advanced thing because they're falling pretty far. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! You just see Tunis with his wings spread slowly, following. Fuck you, Adaria. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> Might not be too As bad he, for the. His uh, head just descends below the ground <laughs> slowly. Okay. Now that got rid of the problem. We are good here. Just clap the hands together. <laughs> okay, so hold on. I need to uh, prepare another map for anyone that's going to follow Tyrion as he's slowly descending because a lot of the frogs <laughs> <laughs> fell. <laughs> I will also add this. Uh, Tyranin, as you're descending yeah. downward, you see a lot of bugs. A lot of the high stingers. They just look very angry, very pissed, very confused. And the first thing that they're doing is they're taking their anger out on the frogs because they think the frogs did it. I hope you're doing well down there, Tyranin. Since I, I spoke into Cinder's mind earlier today, I'm going to say we're probably still linked, and you just yes. hear, We gotta go. <laughs> no, really? 
<laughs> so I'm just gonna. He just sent you a picture. He just sent you just a single screenshot of what he's looking at. It's a lot of bugs, and they're all very mad. I'm just going to quickly grab something here. Miser, you yes. really don't need a map. My yeah. next turn, I'm flying away. Okay, because I wanted to show you something. Actually, Taryn, okay. roll me a. Just roll me a D100. It'll be much easier for me to. Uh, you want to aim as high as possible. I was like, you know, that's well, 85! Hell yeah! Okay, so Tyrannin, as uh, you're descending, and I'm just gonna put this image here, you see all the bugs, especially more of uh, elite looking ones. In particular, you're seeing uh, these types of bugs. Those look so cool! Well, and they do wield! My work here is done. I save. And uh, the they are surrounding, or rather, in a very protective manner, this individual who's looking right at you. I love Insect Queen from Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, I don't think this was from Yu-Gi-Oh, though. I know, I know. I was making a joke. But uh. All right. That's something we're going to have to work through later. Yeah, it is pointing at your direction, or she is pointing at your direction. They're looking at you while they're in the middle of stabbing a bunch of the uh, green and remainings of the red frogs, because a lot of them just fell into that hole. Oh, it's just a bonus action for me. Uh, it, it'll happen on my turn. I'll do something on my turn. How yep. many rounds, Miser, just out of curiosity, because I did my movement, and that's pretty much my turn. How many rounds were they taking that fucking hole? <laughs> Days? <laughs> Probably. You know what, Adaria, I'm going to give you a, uh, a survival check, or nature check. I'll give you a choice of one of the two. Oh, good. Oh, goody gumdrops. One of my better rolls. Can't wait to roll a two. Fuck my life. You get the feeling that this was a recently established hive. Oh, cool. We just ran into a newly formed hive. Awesome. I'm fucking not dealing with this. Yeah, they were they were in the middle of making a new home. <laughs> well, Cinder, time to pack it in. We live Taren and lived a good life and perhaps he'll come back <laughs> again alive. Or dead. Alright, so all these guys are just falling in. <laughs> There's only uh yeah. The other bugs are just looking very confused. They're just chasing after the frogs over their single-minded pursuit. So, uh, that's it for, uh, what are you going to, is that it for you, uh, Adoria? Just walking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That should be it. Just literally walk <laughs> the other way. I did my <laughs> Literally tuxedo masking my way out of here. <laughs> <laughs> my work's done here. Okay. Uh, Mavis, in the darkness, you just feel masses, even more bigger, uh, trembling, and sounds like, uh, the land fell apart, like an earthquake. And, uh, you probably hear Adaria saying something as she's walking right by. Mavis? Sorry, um... Is the plan to leave? Oh, 100% yes. Which direction? Just away. Um, okay, um, you want to go the way that doesn't have the big hole? I think. <laughs> A camera. Um, I don't believe I'm in anyone's attack range. But I'm gonna Unless that them. giant bug is hostile. Do we know if that giant bug's hostile? Well, it probably is, but the problem is we don't know if it has a... <laughs> it's solid 50-50. Yeah. yeah. On, like, tremor sense or not, or blind zone. Oh, uh, yeah, true. Yeah. Um, I'm sure it has tremor sense. I'm sure it does. The bug. <laughs> They're but coming uh, out of the ground. Tunneling I'll bug. Be fine. It'll be fine. I'm gonna start running. It'll be cool. A subterranean bug. 
Hold on, that's 10. We'll zoom out a little bit. Whoa. What's my 45? Yeah. Um. Oh no, I was here. 10. 20. You are here. I was, but I remembered the number 10 from where I'm at right now. Stop. Okay. 20. Why is math hard? You have a ruler. 30. You also have the Q key. I have the what? Pick up your token and hold key. Just, just like that. No, I know. Let me do math. <laughs> Goodness gracious. That's why you don't yell at math teachers. Not I'm a not a math teacher! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. She teaches computers that are so different from math. Okay. Oh. Um, I'm not even done moving, but I'm getting yelled at, so I'm just gonna be done moving. No! <laughs> Nobody's yelling at you! No. Let me keep, uh, keep moving, because... So your turn. Well, you I was going to action dash, Perfect. so I'd be off the map anywho, so... Okay. Perfect. Hi, Stingers. 90 feet of movement. <laughs> All together. No. 45 plus 45. No, oh. 50. No, 80. 5, 5, 90, right? I don't know. Oh, we just sorry. had this conversation. I, I, I didn't know how much movement we had. I thought you had 30. <laughs> That's why math was hard. <laughs> I can't even <laughs> feel hurt by this conversation. But, uh... Very... But anyway, he uh... Said yes for some reason. Yeah, so, uh, Tyranid, I'm gonna make... I'm gonna need to make a couple of deck saves because the bugs with their single-minded order of pursue frogs are just going to charge. I'm not a frog. <laughs> You're in the way. How many? How many? Two, because one focused on killing the frogs, the other one realized that you were the one that blasted it. One of them's gonna... He realized, and he realized correct. <laughs> yeah, first one uh, will uh, come right into you, so this is what you're getting. As it's just charging. Mm. Into the hole. Oh no. <laughs> after... Oh, okay. I'm still floating. Yeah, he just got bruised uh, a little bit. Bruised a little bit. 37 <laughs> HP. You take half if you make the save. I didn't make... Oh, okay, I make the save, yeah. So that is 15 plus 3, so 17. No, 18. Right? Yes. The other one decides you're not worth the effort and it's going to go charge after the remaining frogs that fell into the hole with it. <laughs> I'm not going to even roll for the slots because you just literally buried them all, Arizel. <laughs> not Aria, but thank you. I was saying it's Arizel's turn. No, it's Arizel's turn. Oh, uh, okay, okay. They're all just kind of chilling now, getting their asses stabbed. <laughs> uh, Ripper, you're up then. All up. Uh, Ari, you are currently muted. all the time. Uh, Hello? Hello? person I can't <laughs> say in my house. Oh, how about to say? Hang on one sec. Is it no the problem. A name? <laughs> is, it, is the name you can't say Alexa? Yes. The robot? Okay. 
<laughs> I was actually in the car for some reason. It, 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 I was like, no, it sounded like a robot. Hmm. It definitely did sound like, yeah, a, a, uh, a oh, virtual a virtual assistant of some kind, whether it be Alexa, ah. Cortana, Siri. Yeah, uh, it's got a whole bunch of names. I, I said Cortana. Yeah, Cortana is Microsoft, Siri, Alexa. There's more. No, there's okay. more. Yeah, I think there's I think there's more. Oh, there's Google. Okay, Google. Shut um, up. I prefer Google. Uh, yeah, I well, I mean, it's linked got... to the biggest one, right? Yeah, I mean, I got I got my sister that fucking device, and it is so much more use. And it can use yeah. fucking YouTube. Yeah, Google Home is kind of goaded. Just turn on the Skyrim mod where it just yells Skyrim, or you'll play Skyrim I... Google Home. <laughs> okay, so, Shub, my... it is your turn. Oh, yes. Okay. You got a big blue frog that's dead in front of you. You bit off a bit of its arm. Yep. I'm jumping in the hole. <laughs> yep. Okay. Come, like, legitimately. Jumping in the hole. Don't worry about it, old Shub. I got a plan. Oh, shit. A solo plan. Okay. <laughs> This is gonna be interesting. All right, so uh, good, good thing I was getting another map ready. Right. Somebody had to jump in the hole. Come on, you heard how excited Mizer was to show us that bug queen. No, he wasn't. He was like, "You're gonna die, probably." <laughs> okay, well, binge. <laughs> What's binge gonna do as he gets out of dodge? So, are we going in after him, Syndra? Are we just letting him die? I'm not going in there. Good. Well, in the same mindset, then. We fixed the problem. <laughs> I will say this, though. Uh, Tyrannin, you do see... Uh... The darkness approach? And then yeah. just disappear into the more darkness? You just get the feeling that, uh, somebody just decided to go in. <laughs> oh, I'm as so I'm glad I have a flashbang and he I'm, follows the darkness because I'm going with my boy Shub. <laughs> After I run past here, <laughs> I'll be back. I'm, I'm in the hole. <laughs> I'm falling currently. I just fall slower. You can go up, though, and but Chubb, he's my boy. I promised his father I'd take care of him. Well, at the risk of your own life? I'm tearing it. That means nothing. <laughs> exactly. Okay, well, uh, Binge, I don't know what Binge will want to do, but Binge will do. Oh, uh, Binge is smarter than his, uh... The binge also has someone he's taken care of. Yeah, so he's going to of. just move over here and take a very defensive stance. And if any of these hive stingers get a stupid idea, they're going to realize how stupid it was as he readies an action to murder. All right, those are the bugs. Uh, uh, I need to. I'm going to roll uh, even a rod to see if he gets his put into the ground back. And that is a three, and I think that recharges on odds. Yeah, I just gotta remember, those bugs are gonna go after the uh, frogs, It so. does. Yeah, but if any of the bugs think, hmm, easy meal, they're going to realize how stupid of a decision that was. Oh, and um, as I'm falling, I guess, mm -hmm. I will... I'll turn this off. So as you turn that off, you just see how bright fucking Tyrion is right now. You're just like a toad, a flare being dropped at all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Syndra. Oh, Miser, I guess you do need to make that map. Wait, you talking about? I had the map ready. I'm just, uh, <laughs> just gotta make sure who's going in where right now. So, uh... uh right? Huh? Is there any slots in sight? Uh, they all fell into the hole. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say right now. They all fell into the hole. 
I'm gonna leave the NPCs with you guys, so if you tell them to do something, they'll probably go with you, but... And I'm, uh, falling back, because I don't want that hole getting bigger. Helena will continue with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say, is like, uh... Pinch his pinch to the bulwark, okay? He will be in the rear. Yeah, I, I will say this, now that the darkness has fallen off, off of you, Syndra, you see this massive, uh, crater of a hole. And you see a lot of slobs are falling in there, and you just see all the uh, hive singers just charging in after them. <laughs> you see Tyrion well, slowly descending, think. and you probably can only guess that Shove had just dive bombed in there. <laughs> this is what we're dealing with. Okay, so, uh, what are you doing, uh, Syndra? <laughs> I'm just gonna hold an action in case anything comes after us. Okay. Oh, I need to, uh, move the other bugs I'm because... Not, I'm not, I'm not messing with this. Yeah. This is, this is above my pay grade at the moment. I forgot to move the other bugs, the warriors, because, uh... Just so much chaos you guys did, but yes, they are all literally just charging in after the bu after the frogs. So you just you just do see them running. They're not even like paying attention to you guys. Terran and some of them are even just ignoring you. If anything, they only collide into you out of the fact that you're just in the way. They're going after the slods. No, they're they're like moths, and I'm the brightest light here. <laughs> Alright, slods, I will get to them when they land. <laughs> Uh, since it's the top of the round, I just passed the, uh, the death slot, but I'm not gonna bother with that. Um, <clears throat> Adoreo, please roll me another D100. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Eleven. Okay. That hole gets a little bit bigger and wider. Can you mark it, please? I'm doing that right now, my friend. Because, uh. <laughs> oh man, I was not ready for Earthquake. You gave it to me. I know, I know. This is actually the perfect tool against these fucks. But, uh, yeah, that, uh, that whole entire area has just collapsed. Exposing a very big amount of, uh,. Of tunnels, earth, and a large, looks to be like a very large chamber at the very bottom. Can I do something stupid? Hold on. I feel like they're going to need my fucking help. Ah! Uh, hold on. Sliding <laughs> down. That's my movement. Miser. Yes. This is gonna be a fun one, and I'm praying. Uh, how deep is the hole? It is currently 60 feet down, but due to the uh, roll that you just made, it is now 70 feet down. That's fine. I'll catch you tearing in all the way down. Uh, can I see the cloud of darkness so I don't wear up aiming this? Oh, it's, it's, it's off, it's off oh, yeah. It off? Yeah, I did, cool. I did it right before I jumped. Gonna, I can or see that bitch. That, like, queen-looking thing, right? A little bit. And you also see that she cool. is surrounded by a lot of them. Cool. I swall, I'll roll my d100 and pray to god for white mute. Don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything stupid. Oh, she's doing something stupid. Okay, I rolled 85 again. Um, I'm just gonna, like... Uh, could you give... I guess I'll wait till the map till I actually make my wall, so. Okay, because um I will also add um uh, just before you do this so you get a better idea what's going on. There is a lot of bugs down there. They're I'm in aware. a they are in a very, as I will say, defensive formation. That's cool. I hope they like being or basically fucked around. 
So question then of their formation. Is are they like around the queen or are they like sectioned off where it's like a phalanx line? It is definitely a a very tactical phal uh, phalanx line. As cool, in they're in layer by sure, layer. Then I'll just make sure to section off the layer from the queen. From all of them. Okay, so just I'll wait till the map goes though. It'll okay. be easier. Just, yeah. Because uh, my main worry right now is that if I do switch you guys to the map, I'm going to lose that turn order. You will. Yeah. And, and that's the part that I always hate. I, uh, I mean, I rolled the fucking... I, I can't remember what mine's at. Do you want me to remember a couple others? 1412 is mine. I mean, I guess you just have to trust me to uh, say whose turn order is which then. Miser. Would you want me to take a screenshot? You? <laughs> oh my god, Miser, I would never trust you. Yeah, and then you're going to have to catch me. That's battery is all I got all. Wait, no, I had that. Oh, me and Shove had an idea. Okay, As you so... guessed, the ice ball. Yeah, alright, so well, let me then just... Then fucking uh... fill me in next time. How? Point at her ahead. I was already in Syndra's head. I needed an action to switch that. Sounds like a personal problem. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. So give me a second. You to, could have uh... joined my head. I just, I just sent you it, uh, Miser Discord. Oh. Do, 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 do. Half our party's just like, nope. The other half's like, fuck it, yo. Perfect. Right. Thank you, buddy. All right. So. Yeah. No worries. All right. I'm just gonna switch you guys to the other map. Benji's Everyone talk. Finch is not Everyone talk shit the about. Child. Everyone talks okay. shit about Microsoft uh, Edge, but it does that, which is cool. Um, awesome. You guys are going to be right here as you're sliding down. Oh, there's no way an ice wall cuts anything off from anything. That's you guys going to be sliding right uh, down here because they all pack them. It's bigger than an ice wall. That's cool. Oh. Then just take damage then if he breaks it and make difficult trade. No, we want to be nice to her. This is a diplomatic mission. <laughs> but, uh, change the music for, uh, I will say you guys are semi out of battle. The one time we can use Adaria for dipl diplomacy and she uses an ice wall. Well, I didn't fucking know. <laughs> You're our best See, diplomat. I you guys were actually going to do battle for once. No, actually, we had an idea to. Find... I w I wanted them to. I was trying to get it, get them into the our actually, little tribe, Miser. our tribes that were. Here, here has been nice, like been trying to got, not have you guys murder the bugs this entire fight. Yeah, I like the bugs. They're against the slot. We've the literally been gone, right? told, like we've literally been told, like one or two sessions ago, that the that they weren't actually like super with the black power yeah, they were yeah. they were getting murdered by it and then turned into robots yeah but we also have the fact that we were also told way long ago that they're usually factionless and just mur mindless murder machines yeah but if there's a smart oh. one in front of us we might be able to do something the dredge soundtracks and the Pocket. darker tones that's you awesome you know what actually go for it miser yes can i, I place the ice wall as a way to kind of raise our position so we're yeah like a like slide level Sounds good to oh, me. <laughs> there! Like a, and she makes like a, like a slide down. Slide. Are you happy now, Tannen? It didn't hurt and we descended. And I don't fucking take damage. Yeah. Are the slots alive down here, Miser? Oh no, they just got ganged up on. <laughs> oh, okay. They're immediately killed. <laughs> yes, I, that's why I said, like, as soon as they fell down there, they realized the horror of, uh, well, they realized the error of their ways of dealing with an entire army of bugs. Because right. uh, Adaria well, literally just dropped them into the mouth of the, uh, into the hive. There, now we can use that as we gave them food. As she kind of just, like, slowly, So I'm like, just going to uh, remove the, the turn order for the moment. Or right, I'm just going to delete this. No, actually, ah. you know what? I'm going to keep it. Keep it. Just, uh... Just in case. My... Yeah, I'm going to just keep it just in case. connection with Syndra. But, uh, song to play. Yep. <laughs> but, uh, 
All these bugs are in a defensive position. There is definitely a very large one that is somewhat female in form. With they're surrounded by six clearly elite guards and then a very large amount of drones and warriors and a couple of raiders ready to charge the moment they sense something is wrong. But you do see the uh, torn up and mush remains of Slod under their feet and uh, stingers. Well, if we die down here, I got nothing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can get someone out, but let's, you know, ride a talk. Queen of the Bugs. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, clittering, clicking noises. Almost a mix of hissing, too. Yeah, he's uh, Terry's gonna look over at that ring. You have the talk to things spell, right? Not fucking bugs. They probably have a language. Do you have I'm that gonna, one? I'm gonna kneel, like bow. <laughs> Not prepare. Actually, I speak right. with animals. Actually, I do. Well, I have this prepared. Give me about a few minutes. Work. All right, I will try to distract. I'll, I'll, I got this. I'll, do, I'll, I'll, I'll keep him busy. I'm gonna need. Uh, uh, Tiernan, and then I'm gonna smack up. Tiernan on the shoulder, like telling, like giving, hinting him to like do a little warrior kneel too. Oh no, that's exactly what I was doing. I was just, just okay. <laughs> Tiernan sheathed both of his blades, and then, uh, God, I hope Bugs understand this, but slaps his tail on the ground twice, and then kneels with one knee. So and in, gives gives a little bit of a mental probe to the queen, but it's more like a knock on the door than a "Hey, I'm entering." If that makes any sense. I wonder if this will work. <laughs> I'm really praying it does. I'm gonna make, make myself grow job. antenna. It's gonna be <laughs> sh sh shub still, but now I have antenna. Like fucking die okay. Down here. Okay. Hold on. I'm just gonna roll these for a moment. Give me a second. First, a D100 for, uh, for Tyranin. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Now for Shub, which is, uh, a 2D20. Okay, two sixes. <laughs> that was 2D10. Oh, two, ooh. Whoops, why did it turn into a duty 10? That's uh, odd. Okay, there we go. Let's do that again. I think the only reason I said it is because you said 2d20. Yeah. Okay. That's not better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, then for Adaria, using your uh, yeah. speak with uh, animal. Yeah. yeah I'll I, I know, I see, I see it. It's just. Yeah, it's tough. Tough decision. They're not really animals. They're more like... Well, it's... I've been around these to give you information. And all oh, them. yeah. Yeah. It, it very... Not... It depends. It's a very DM thing. Like, if it is. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Not to mention, these things are a little bit more intelligent than your average beast. Great. <laughs> but well, by, a, by a small bit, but as you've guessed, they have a hive mind. These would be... What do they speak? The... I think. <laughs> do they speak deep speech? No, they do not. No, they sadly. speak venom oh. stinger. Oh, that, okay. Well, they're I'm gonna from, okay. They, I'm sure they have their own language. Yes. So yeah. with my with my antenna, I'm also going to I'm gonna burrow like a little bit up and then a little bit more up, so they think I'm a tunneling bug too. Oh my god, uh, we're going to fucking die. Um. Roll me a, D, a 2d20, uh, Shub. Okay. Oh, I see. So... Oh, that landed on the, those, like, it was hovering on the 20 for so long. No, it came up 20. I don't know what the 3d dice is saying. Oh, it's still there! It's, yeah, the, it's, it's, the, 
<laughs> gave up and was like, fuck you, no. Okay, you lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna say that right it now. It 100% landed on the 14, but that fucker was like, nah, 20. Yeah. Okay, so. Going first with uh, Adaria's um, talk with animals, or speak with the beast and all that. You get the feeling as you try to use this, there is some language you're picking up, but it's hard to discern because it seems like most of these insects are speaking in the same language as a hive mind would. So one would start a sentence while the other continues it and the other one would finish it. Shub, as you grew those antennas, they had focused interest on you for a very brief moment. And, uh, Tyrion, as you are probing the mind here, which you roll, I believe you had the 85, okay. Yeah, it was 85, and I've literally been meditating on, and, and I mean, you know, you know about meditating. Yes, the, uh, clear, the obvious queen of the insects is now looking right at you. You know full well that she doesn't have pupils, but yet this thing is staring at you. Not only that, but also the six elite guards that are flying around her. With his mother's training, would Tyrion know to look at her or continue to be looking down? You would know that, especially as someone who has a military or a high position, do not look directly at this one. <laughs> So he continues staring about like 45 degrees in front of him. But okay. he hears the answer with the uh And he just kind of oh, under shit. his un, under his breath he goes, "Shub Adria, do not look her in the eye." Yeah, which Shub as you uh performed that little digging maneuver and showing your little antenna as a tunneler, they look back at you now. I'm gonna do one more thing. Okay. <laughs> this isn't okay. I'm gonna use my infestation, but not as an attack, but to kind of like cloud around me and like make them look like they're 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 friendly with me. Like I have some connection to the bugs. Also, at this point, okay. Henry would also probably kneel. Roll me, roll me persuasion at advantage plus. Okay. Hold on. Let me just look what you got here. Plus six. Shub, don't right. fuck this up, and she'll tap you on the back. Well, never mind. <laughs> so that's that's huge. I mean, if you want to just go for plus six is like thirty one. Yeah, yeah, sure one. Yeah, one. yeah I might as well. Jesus Christ! It's wow. Still. Okay, <laughs> Tyrannin, because you're doing the mental link. You feel a very powerful presence starting to uh, grab hold of you, not in a aggressive manner, but more of an authoritative manner. He will allow it, but do his best to keep himself grounded, making sure that he keeps control of who he is. Yes. He knows he's about to be entered into a hive mind. Yes, that's exactly what I was going to warn you about, because there is an authoritative voice behind or rather is backed up by a swarm. And you just hear the voice. This is literally what he's been training for, so hopefully he does okay with it. So you do hear the voice in your head, and this is only you hearing it, Tyrannin. What do you outsiders want? Alliance. The Hive Stingers take no sides and only protect the garden. Against Tower. Tower. And Mage inside. Turning your people into monsters against your hive 
Persuasion at advantage. Oh, fuck. Also, I need a uh, wisdom saving throw at advantage, too, because you are trying to talk to a massive swarm. Hell yeah. Hey, fucking fantastic for Tyrion. And then wisdom? Yes, at advantage, because you already knew we were getting into. Oh, even better. Okay. Hell yeah. So, as you're getting this message through, you realize that it's difficult to speak not to a single being, but rather a collective conscience. It is why, as you come to realize, it is difficult to deal with swarm entities because they're all thinking in a collectiveness of one thought process, with one core being the will. With this, uh, Adaria will 100% notice this is one of the few times it's ever happened, but Tyrion's ears have pinned against his back. And his, like, tail is, like, tucked around his feet. Like, he does not show weakness fucking ever, but you, Adaria can 100% tell that he is having a very hard time with this. Yes, yeah, so I will also give this to you, Tyrion. You realize that even though there's a queen right there, every single one of these drones and warriors are literally an extension of her. And you do hear the voice again. You speak of plague bringers, the traitors. Not greater taken. Used. Stolen. Ugh. They no longer serve the garden. Thus they are traitors. Stolen from you. There's a bit of a pause. Stolen. As if pondering that word. Like an egg eaten by scavengers. Taken. Yours, but taken. You definitely sense a growing fury, not just from the queen herself, but also from every single member within this chamber alone. It's not directed at you, but you just feel it. I'm willing to channel my own hatred towards the Black Tower into that. So this is what I will call riding the, uh, riding the wave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna add to it, and I'm going to think about the direction of that black tower, and hopefully that like my idea of where it is and theirs can coalesce somehow. Make me one intelligence check. I will let you choose oh, which oh, skill oh. check you want to use. Well, I mean, my intelligence is better. Oh, I use the 12. Okay. You get an image in your oh, head. Uh-oh. I'm just gonna put the image the token here, and I'll shift Z it. It is what you see, Tyrannin. Oh, that's bad. That's, that's exactly what Tyrannin thinks, too. Oh, fucking awesome! Traitor. Oh. Leads new hive. You say stolen. Yes. Traitor stolen many. It 
is part of the Plague Bringer. We kill. You send help. I kill. Give me one persuasion roll at advantage. As Shub and Adari, you kind of see it like there is a intense stare down from the queen looking at Tyranin. Nice. Tyranin is staring a fucking hole in the ground. It's not only that, but Adari and Shub, you see that all of the high singers are staring right at Tyranin. <laughs> And, like, when he talks, his, like, head is jerking, and, like, you see this is taking literally immense effort and causing him physical pain. Well, as long as we're not getting swamped right now, I think it's going all right. Why help, outsider? Your kind plunders the garden. Eight. Infest. Our Lord wants ill with everything. You say and so. But with, you... Without thinking about it, he is picturing the every way he's thought about killing Ed. Like, it's like, I'm sure that's being transmitted with that statement. Like, he is just throwing that at her on accident because like he doesn't like the brainwave is so different and he is just like while saying this he's picturing the different ways he thought of murdering Ed <clears throat> and then at, at the very end he she sees when Retta got shot and then it just keeps going on repeat teared in watching Retta get hit and hit and hit. And then you two see Tiernan is full bore crying. The insect queen of the high singers looks at you. Emotions like what you're expressing is alien to her for the most part. She understands it's important to you, but it is not the way of the insects which they better the whole over the individual. Yet, it understands, she understands, it is important to you. Again, I ask. You outsiders come to our garden, take from it, influence it in ways alien to us. Even influence the other tribes that were meant to guard this garden. You see... When she says that, Tyrion is thinking of watching uh, uh what is the big monkey? Uh... Gur. Gur. So I wanted to call him Gru when I knew that wasn't right. Gur yeah. and Zarin Ball fighting side by side. Fight together. Strong against outside and then he thinks of Arizel making a contract with uh her name's so hard for me Baractios Baractios we part of land want help Tyranny, can you roll me... Roll me 2d100. 
Okay. I know. I'm making you roll a lot, buddy, but you are saying some key things that actually inspire interest in our. That's a 99 <laughs> and an 80? <laughs> well. Well. So as you make the thoughts of, uh, especially of the of Zaren Ball and Gurr fighting side by side, there is a key interest on that. But the moment you picture the image of Arizel making her pact with Baraktos, you feel these invisible hands grab onto your head to look right at that. Ah. So then, that's probably when she gets the full, like, us fighting the two uh, primals, and then Baratheos getting made, and then immediately Arizel helping, or uh, siding with Baratheos. He, he's gonna he's gonna just let that slide like he's just gonna give that away for her she's gonna know he gave that to her you definitely sense a the confusion there but not as and a, then she's uh... gonna see him us killing several false primals Curious. So you have met the Lord of the Fountain of Mana, Shroud, the Primal Dreamer. <laughs> this is for me. Uh, or could I, yeah. Unfortunately, I gotta go with the four, because I was gonna roll one. She sees... Tyrannin's conversation. His last conversation with Shroud, about how him and Shroud are the same. You don't feel any sort of, at least, overt emotions. In fact, this insect queen is showing very much a steadfast analytical processing of it. I'm sure she's a thousand times better at mental conversations than Tyrion is. <laughs> Even do, with his current training. You do feel like she still has a strong hold on you, but she's not like vice gripping you. It's more like just holding your head there. No, to look. but this is this is Tyrion, his emotional ass, uh, getting back at him. I suspected you since you had the same scent as Shroud. You are part of the garden, yet not of it. Strange. She keeps getting, like, images out of him of just the the ways he wants to mutilate Ed. And when he heard the tower is being controlled by that Warforged, he doesn't know what the Warforged really looks like, but there's definitely several armored individuals that are just getting those, like, just flashes of him stabbing through them. You feel the vice group get a little bit gentle? The best way I can explain it for uh, the grip that she has on you right now. Very well. And she's gonna do one more insight. She rolled a fucking one. <laughs> that still beats. That still beats my passive. <laughs> well, I gotta go. I... Well, my passive persuasion is a twelve, but it still fucking beats like. <laughs> Else. Well, thankfully, it's not like uh, wise. it's not gonna, it's not too horrible. The one, at least, because it's not a combat situation of critical miss or critical failure. But this is probably the lowest possibility of trust that she can give you. Very well. You at least convince me you are not part of the plague bringers. 
but I am still not convinced you are salvation. We, the High Singers, have been fighting and protecting our garden from the intrusions. When, when she says salvation, she just sees the most beautiful picture Tiernan can ever think of. It's him sitting in his cave with, with Retta next to him. And then just, it's just... A, a just a, a small it's it's a relatively small cave compared to her usual that is just filled with people dance uh, kobolds dancing around a bonfire every single one of them is armed to the teeth but they are they're dancing they're having a good time it, this is one of the festivals he used to put on uh for his own birthday hatch day <laughs> but when she says that specific word that's what he always thinks of salvation is his people. family his family yeah yeah that's beautiful that's what Tiernan wants to see again the grip let's uh is loosened until it lets go of you. Adaria, you've been getting some bits and words as some of the other bugs, the other high singers, were chittering amongst themselves, or rather, in sync with their queen with a few words here and there. So the most you got was about half of the conversation from the queen's side. Yeah. So do they... Does she understand us? I think I'm just getting bits and pieces just because of my current position. But other no, no, I know, but um, like, like she's obviously cho only cho like choosing to speak with uh, Tiernan right now. But does when we talk, does she understand what we're saying? I don't know. Yes, she actually does seem to understand. As for communicating back, no. <laughs> I'm gonna step forward. And I'm just gonna, I, obviously I don't know what is going on, but here, I had a plan, or like, uh, Shub had a plan going into this anyway. I don't know how to address her, so I'm just gonna come out. Um, Queen, we obviously both have hang-ups with the tower, but we also have hang-ups with, both have personal hang-ups with these frog creatures. So once this is all over, I will vow to stay in the garden and protect you guys permanently. Oh, please roll me a persuasion check at disadvantage, because you said the protecting their garden, they're very proud people. <laughs> persuasion? Yeah. Disadvantage? Oh, yes. Okay. Tyrannin, you feel this, that when he was saying about protecting them, you feel like that actually hurt their pride. <laughs> Something that a collective insect tribe should not have, but they seem to take their duty very seriously. <laughs> and They were first listening to Shub, yeah. but then as soon as he said he will protect them, <laughs> live on their uh, garden... They kind of took that as an insult a bit, like, you're a little yeah. frog. <laughs> oh, okay. Do I, do I see, like, do I see that they're kind of, like, hesitant about it? You hear... Give me a second. Shub. Make a show. Okay. If you are true... Oh, my God. Ah! Oh, I just... Blood is, like... Rick, like it is he, something hemorrhaged inside of both of his ears like he's bleeding can you can you uh up my size there my yes and then it's just that oh no that did not work why do I have a feeling this is gonna be seen as a threat it's not oh I can still hear her huh? 
Uh, what else do I got? Hold up. I wonder if, yes. like, I, I, I want to do something, but I don't know if it's gonna... Because, like, I... I'm just gonna say what I think I'm gonna do and uh, gauge reactions, but I, I have vile presence, which technically could be considered as, um... A pheromone to a bug, and for allied creatures, it begins to heal them. But they also suffer necrotic damage as their body heals it in the natural way. So I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Not. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, uh, Tiernan will just think he doesn't know if he's still connected or not. You are. He is a source. Powerful. Do not take this as insult, but could fight largest of you. The queen kind of looks at Shove's direction, not looking at Tyranin, but does still talk to Tyranin. He reeks of the outsiders. He more outside than existence but word true never gone back on since known Shavrana I know what it's Look. like to lose everything and have nothing I don't want to see your people lose your sanctuary most truthful person met ever. There are some more clicking noises now, but Tiernan, you hear the message loud and clear. We will speak more. Bring your rest of, tr of swarm. As her head kind of directs says, upward. Syndra. <laughs> She literally hit she, the BRB. Yeah, oh. she's BRB. Oh shit. <laughs> Just noticed that. <laughs> because I was about to mention that uh, everybody upstairs are starting to see some of the bugs starting to come out more, but they're lining up. <laughs> well, my job here is done. I did fuck all except give them food, and I can't commune. And Rhea, uh, we need to bring the rest. <laughs> I, I got that much. I can at least hear what the fuck they're saying. Am I bleeding? No. Oh, oh. oh you're good. Maybe mentally you are. Really? You're not bleeding too no. much. Just a little, uh... I would think there's, like, at least a trickle. Like, he is forcing his mental prowess to its maximum at this point. <laughs> yeah, let me just... It just starts pulls out like a small cloth and starts wiping away blood. It's not very fitting for some to interact with the queen, really. At least to bleed on the floor. Unless they want to kill you. Then that's not my prerogative. She's at least wiping up some of your face. Uh, at the very least, they're not killing us, so... I think I'm doing okay. I probably could do better if I was a bit more persuasive, but fuck people. I mean, if you want to fuck people, that's not my problem. <laughs> but you can do you. Alright. Not, not, not gonna lie, guys. I would love the idea of joining this brood. Can we not? Seems extremely up your alley, Shep. Think of the, Think of the babies we could make. Oh, no. Plentiful. Yes. I don't care. Whatever shub happens, shub happens. <laughs> but, uh, oh. Mavis, Arizel, Adaria, I mean, um. Uh, I was gonna say, I'm down here yes. the whole. <laughs> Syndra. He, he, like, <laughs> Adaria, he looks at you, like, Tyrion finally mm. opens his eyes and looks at you. His left eye is just fucking red. Not bloodshot, but he popped a blood vessel in one of his eyes. Red. That was wanted. Yes, uh, Syndra, oh. up on the surface, uh, you see a lot of the high singers making two set of uh, column lines, 
with you guys in the center. And in a very horrible, horrible common language, but it's just enough for you to understand. You just hear, Queen commands forward swarm. Said, oh, yeah. Tyrion, no, Tyrion is actually. No, no, I dropped my link to link to her. Can you link to Cinder and tell her that they want her down here? I'll try. I'm not as proficient in you, but considering. Well, just. It's with Cinder. You've done it multiple times. You should be able to do it. I mean, I could probably do it better with Ari, considering I have a stronger emotional connection, but we Fuck can... it, I don't care who you do. Tell them to get here. <laughs> <laughs> Jump in the hole. I guess it's between Cinder and Ari. Hold on, let me just roll. No, coin flip it. Okay, I guess it is Cinder. <laughs> I see. Ari's not your number one. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Link usually isn't as strong as Tyrion because I don't practice it as much. But can I link to Syndra's? I'll allow oh, it no. uh, for this roleplay moment. Um, so Syndra, Tyrion's currently on the line with the Queen, and it seems to be working at a, I'll say, a working relationship. And she wants you down here to join us, just to make sure there isn't any bad blood between us if shit's going to go down. So take it at your own leisure, or you can die and make this all for naught and then we all die. <laughs> Are you bloody fucking serious? Yeah. This was Tyrion's idea, not mine. And he's better at least this diplomacy than I am. I swear, if this gets me killed, I'm going to haunt you. Also, Tyrion finally doing diplomacy <laughs> with a warrior race? Oh, wow, <laughs> who would have guessed? Also, uh, Syndra, Arizel, Navis, you do see that the remaining high singers that were on the surface, they all make two-column line, expecting you to walk right through the center. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Yeah, we're gonna Trust die. me, I was thinking... She's saying that out loud or in the lake? <laughs> saying that out loud to everybody as she starts walking. <laughs> <clears throat> Where are you going, Syndra? <laughs> they want us down below. No. They also, walk. there's an ice slide down there, so enjoy the freeway down. Uh, okay. That was we're not going to die immediately. Thank fuck for that. Very elaborate trap. So, the remaining party members can uh, find themselves here. Right, ne uh, right next yeah, to them? Right, yeah. right, next to the, right next to the crater, I think. Yeah. Hello. Ah, it's good of you to join us. We're not dead, somehow. You did. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking stupid. <laughs> Why? I'm guessing, I'm guessing Helena said that. <laughs> She's, she'll be more of the lines of, how the fuck do we get these bugs to listen to us? <laughs> They're all just staring in unison. <clears throat> well, this is Tyrannin's plan, and I have no handle on this, so all faith on Tyrannin. Want to try to listen, you can link. I don't want my mind being consumed by, a, by the Horde, considering I barely can... Hold my own your, mind with two people. Your training is insignificant. I don't train mostly because I didn't have to. I didn't then, have to either. It got us here. If I die doing this, fuck don't, you. No, don't. Please, no, I was telling you to fucking not. Well, good, because I didn't blame This is it. awful. This is why I at least enjoy the chittering, because I can pick up the words she's saying on the back end. You're only getting some of the words, though. I imagine it's enough to kind of piece together what's going on, especially with Tyrion fucking bleeding. Just enough. enough to, like, yeah. 
But again, you're only getting her side of the conversation, not Tyranids, because he's doing the mental link. Yep, which I didn't expect to. Uh, once you're all there, Syndra, you see a very large uh, female bug. <laughs> Clearly the queen of a colony. And she is definitely surrounded by what looks to be like elite guards. And in a very ironic twist, as Tyrannin had noticed, they are dual wielders. Binge does the binge thing. Like the weak. Stand in front of his lord. <laughs> <laughs> and turning, you hearing the queen's voice again through your head. <clears throat> the one blessed by our true primals. Have her step forward. I. If you could be a deer, get in front of Shub. No good luck. Alright, oh, this mental link hurts. Please do it quickly. Or my other eye will go blind. <laughs> I can't see out of the left. Approach the queen. Is that Tori? Awesome. Yeah. Yes. yes, you. Oh, for God's sake, Arzel, you do see that they're all looking at you now. You're the one oh, who made a great. deal with a primal. Oh, my okay. God. Oh, okay. I walk with Brian. <laughs> Almost in simultaneous of the entire hive speaking in unison, you all do hear this. Step closer. Without fear. It's, uh, it's the, are those rocks, like, I can just walk up on them? Yeah, it's, it's, kind, like... it's, okay. it's slant enough. It's not, like, something you had to struggle climbing up. Okay, cool. As you get closer, the elite guards make their... give space. As the very large queen starts walking a little bit slowly towards you. leans down to look at you better. And Ari, you can roll me and I'll give you the choice of a wisdom or intelligence saving throw. As turn in, you do feel the grip of the psychic link let off on you. But you can also feel like she is probing uh, Ari Zell. And you definitely feel this too, Arizel, like a, not an imperialistic uh, knocking of the mental facilities, but it's more like a sensory of trying to pick up your connection with uh, Baractos. At, uh, out of the side of his mouth, he's going to whisper to uh, Adria, can you help out with the mental link? It's trying to talk to her I think just subtly do it softly like we talked about oh god you know the just... last time I fucking did this was in the water temple <laughs> yes I know we haven't you haven't asked to practice in a while I've been busy with other things we've and, all uh... been busy you were also erased from existence for a while yeah. <laughs> Excuse me as I was trying to get my foot Just in Just use your mental link. 
to aid her in getting close to Proctios. We've practiced this before. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna settle either one too. I'll kind of think detach from Syndra and kind of link to Ari. Ari, if you don't mind, I'm going to be a br working bridge between you, Baractios, and the queen here. I'm going to try to not invade and be as in uninvasive as possible, but I haven't done this in a while, so I do apologize in advance. Also, everyone, including especially Arisa, you do notice that the queen's antennas actually are leaning forward onto you, or at least reaching out towards you. Let me know if you need any help. That's you, all in your mind. <clears throat> yeah, so... Yeah, uh, she just gives a subtle nod. So, oh, Arizel, do you let the antennas touch you? Gonna... Sure, why not? Yes, I let them. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I guess I'm bridging this, so... Uh -huh. What do you want me to roll, Isaac? There's some saving throw for both of you. Hmm. <laughs> I saw. Oh, Fuck. Man, it kind of makes sense. On. You both passed. Oh. I or at the it. very least, passing enough that you're not entirely uh, feeling the exact pain like Tyrion did because he had to deal with it by himself. Although Ari, uh, Adaria, uh, Adaria, uh <laughs> you are, yeah, you are having to deal with a huge burden because. Uh, it's like you just have the entire world on your shoulders now. Oh, or rather, no, an entire know. swarm of, uh, of rubble, stones, and ants crawling all over you. That's how bad it now feels. I how, now I know how Tannen felt for about five minutes. Arizel, you do hear the, uh, the queen's uh, voice in your head. You were chosen. You made choice. Good. You are not false, champion. Yes, I uh, I made the choice to become his champion. What purpose do you seek within this garden? Do you mean with him or with you? Your purpose, your role. You have to know the player understands. <laughs> so she's asking, what role do you play here for this uh, group? The, you can I'm also the garden is like big. It's like this whole land. Is, yes. Because we've seen the primal gardener before, so like above table. Yes, and uh, she's also adding, or rather, on table, she's asking, "What's your intentions for this land?" Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. I'm sorry. Like, I was like, hmm, what am I not getting here? Yeah, she's, she's, uh, she is just straight up asking, what is your intentions? Yeah. Um. Well. To. Properly heal this land so. The evils that are here. As the sound has come from outside of the land and has plagued across it. To restore what has been damaged. As you say the word restore, which is actually one of the key words she likes. <laughs> You sense a 
almost a chorus of pleasement, appeasement of uh, of hearing that word restore and land. Arizel, can you roll me an insight check? Okay. The 10 isn't too uh, bad. You do get the feeling that... You do get the feeling that your words do hold a bit of weight with the Hive Stingers, at least. Which is why the queen was interested in talking to you. And then you do feel like your vision is or rather your head is being turned toward the direction of Tyrannin. This one speaks of dealing with plague bringers. Are you both aligned in this pursuit? as a swarm. Yeah. <clears throat> as all the heads are, all these insects are, uh, high singers are looking at your direction, Arizel. The queen moves back now. Though you still hear her voice in your head. Two paths. And I sense that there is the As Sindri, you do feel the eyes of the insect queen look towards you. The one of the end. And then looks at Mavis. The one that holds beginning. Okay. And then back at you, Arizel, because all this is in your head as she's speaking to you directly to your mind. And do I Adaria, hear this? yes, you do hear this. I was about to say, though it is straining because you're hearing, because uh, Adaria, you are hearing all of the bugs with their thoughts following with the queen. But Arizel, you do hear it a bit more clear. The queen's voice. Which side do you stand in this fate of the garden? And then she, with one large. leg points to this direction path quickest to the fountain then points to Tyrannin where his other half is at a fate that must be dealt with and then points behind you to this path Path to the Plague Bringer's Tower, as this one calls it, as she again points to Tyrannin. Take paths, not deal with the traitors and the turned, the metal ones, the fake false ones. And then you feel your eyes being taken to the path this way. Do not take path that is our new lair.
Okay. So the path to the south is to the tower, and then the one to the to the to the right here is to turn in other half. Okay. Yep. There goes to the fountain of mana. discussed with the group, especially with Karen. Uh, Very well. The High Stingers will not interfere with your travels, so long as you do not invade our nest. And Adaria, you feel a slight sharp, hot gaze on you. And the voice speaks right into your mind. Earthshaker. Stay within the stars above. Do not touch the ground again. I will keep that in mind when I am near your colony. And then, while the link is broken... Syndra, the insect queen is looking right at you. I need you with the choice of making an intelligence or wisdom saving throw as you do feel something touching your mind as if to speak to you. That's a 30. Okay. Okay. You resist getting uh, overwhelmed by the voices of the entire swarm, and you do hear the insect queen's voice clearly. Strange one with the potency of entropy and old stone. What designs do you have for the garden? Do I know what the garden is? You can get a good clear guess that it's the very land itself. the simple survival so you are not the reaper Such is fate of all things that live. For if ones to live, some must die for it. It's hard to explain what Cinder projects, but it's definitely that sense of I already know. Acknowledgement. That she understands the cycle. I mean, I've been rolling ass today. <laughs> Good thing she has a plus 12. <laughs> the link is cut off, but you do sense a strange. For insects, at the very least, a sense of. Satisfaction. And then Tyrion, you finally get the last message. 
The champion knows the way. This was enlightening. But do not follow us in our lair. We will stay above ground for as long as we can. Uh, that's the first that. sentence you'll hear from Tyranin. There is a, again, something that you're not used to, but you do sense a sense of satisfaction of the answer as the giant insect queen begins to move back. Very slowly, then turns and then just walks out. And Shub, you do hear a slight mental link chat to you was... We will consider your offer should you prove valuable to the garden. Thank you. And before she Queen. exits the tunnel, Mavis, can you roll me your uh, intelligence saving throw? Oh. Because the Queen does turn and looks in your direction a bit. Okay, it's not too bad, but you do feel the weight of the uh, entire swarm as they're also starting to follow behind the queen. But Ugh. the mental link that she's giving you is very much just to you directly. Be wary. It's like getting the ick. <laughs> yeah, you feel like a lot of uh, insects are crawling all over you. And it's just a simple, but you do feel stern words from the Insect Queen. You are out of place and time. You are... An anomaly we are not certain about. Yet you do have the role of one of the beginning. But too many faces. don't think Mavis would respond, but almost feel, um, almost, like, kind of embarrassed. Like, like, almost like being called out. Yeah, that's all she actually says to you as, uh, the queen, as she is retreating into the deeper parts of the cave in the north. The rest of the swarm is following in after her. The only thing staying in the back is that one very large bug <laughs> watching the entrance and in your direction. As you're all left uh, in an empty cavern chamber. That was fun. I knew jumping down the hole was a good idea. I still think it's debatable, but we made it out alive, so there's that. I almost kept running. <laughs> um, one thing, Tiernan, I will need your help on. As you Actually, look at Tiernan, he's still on his knees, and you see his hand held out like, fucking help me up. <laughs> he does. Or, yeah, he does. Brain. Uh, oh. all of you will realize this is probably the first time Tyrion has asked for help from fucking anyone? Well, is that a real of all people? Disgusting. Actually, is. <laughs> Tyrion. Uh. Okay. As, again, she starts wiping off some of the blood that was all around him. One, that's fucking disgusting. Clean all that shit up. Uh. Secondly, I'm going to need your help on something. Uh. <laughs> 
Because I talked with Barakios. Huh? And if I, what I want to do, I need to strengthen my own will. Yeah, uh, you see, you see too. As you're saying this, is just like waving a hand around his left side, like he can't fucking see it. You good? No. All right. I'll... How's my left eye? I can't I... see anything from it. Bloodshot and horrid. Actually, like, it is just. Roll me a D100, red, and then in. there's a pupil. Roll me a D100, Tyranin. Eighty-seven. It is um, mostly a full-on uh, crimson red with a little bit of the iris and pupil left. <laughs> All right. Do you want me to throw you on binge, or do you want to be carried by someone else? I can see out of the right eye. I'm fine. Is that? death flawed body down here or do they take it oh no they're all laying around the area i just didn't put them there <laughs> but uh they were torn and mutilated let's just roll me a roll me a 5d 5d hundred to see how just how badly they got mutilated oh that's not the right thing there we go but whenever you are feeling better oh not I'm, bad you're help. I'm specifically trying to look for the like the death slot. No, nah, actually, that was two of them, which were the last two, and their bodies are actually mostly intact. Other than the fact that they're I'm missing. Henry. Other than Henry, they're missing their heads. Give me a second. God is talking. Yeah, I know. I know. They, uh, there's there are the two death slots, which the only thing that is that they're missing their heads. Perfect. And I'm gonna eat one of their hearts. And there's also. One blue slot. Unfortunately, the uh, gonna... the red slot and the green slot have been totally destroyed. Boy, that's the wrong. You slot. know what? I'm gonna eat all of their hearts. Anything, any heart I can find. All right. You can roll me a three D hundred. You're aiming for a very low number. Yep. Okay, so these two you didn't get anything, but you did get something from the black uh, from the death slot that was in the center. I will get back to you in a bit. So continue on yep. with uh, as uh, Shub is in front of everybody devouring the hearts of the viscerated remains of the slots. Turn in in uh, Adria. Um, couple things. One. I don't know if your mental training can help me with Battle of Wills, but I'm definitely going to fucking need it. It's helped me. Who are you battling? Myself. Remember when I told you I want to? We can work on that. That's actually the thing I've been working on most. And I he just sends you a mental picture of Shroud. Awesome going to go either really well or really bad. That's my thought, exactly. <laughs> now the big question is, are you going to merge with him or are you going to do some weird other funny shit? I want to take him into me and control everything. I want oh. to still be me at the end. You know what? You know what, honestly? That actually kind of is what I'm doing with my... Whatever Ed warned me against, I'm doing. Yes, then we're working to the same end. So, whenever you go with training, just grab me, and I'll also ask. Uh, oh, good. You sleep less than I do. <laughs> I do it every night. <sighs> Aria may be busy for the next month. <laughs> Only a month. Okay. Well, we don't have much time left, do we? How many days do we have left, Miser? Uh, not much of a month, that's for sure. Yes, Probably exactly a have... month. 
And he smiles at you and says, only a month. What are you, what shit does that even mean? That means I'm planning on winning, bitch. You're acting like once we win, <clears throat> we can just go to a bar together and just enjoy it. And something weird's definitely not. No! Why do you think I'm still planning on draining after we win? problem is, how the fuck am I supposed to train? With me. Uh, he he kind of like... He uses his right eye to look behind him. I might become something extra after, and if you can see into the stars, we should be fine. Assuming whatever we become... Assuming he looks behind you, Sindra doesn't eat me. <laughs> I actually had no intention to do so, Jeff. Really, you've kind of alluded to me not becoming a similar entity to you. That's because, Tan, and I don't think it's possible at this time. But we'll see what happens. Fuck possible. Um. Now, which way are we heading? To the tower or to Shroud? <laughs> he boisterously gestures towards Ari. Or, yeah, no, Ari. Apparently, the Chosen knows. I mean, I also heard. You do know that, right? I'm being an asshole. Yeah, I can see that. Um... Well, uh, we end up going down south, that's the tower, but if we go to the right tunnel, that will be, um, where we head off to, uh, find your other half, as I would call it. Uh, we're fighting you or you, so your call. Alright, well, that was a good mental exercise. Thank God, and we're gonna go find me. As Whatever you gods don't exist anymore. Can somebody make me able to see out of my left eye again? You're right there, I found you. <laughs> Rings a bell. I don't know, I don't know if that would count for blinded or at least slowly heal it. It'll slowly heal it. There you go, Tana, and just listen to the bell for about five hours a day, and you should be fine. I should just ring it, like, right here. <laughs> uh, it, actually uh, sound, it actually sounds soothing. Yeah, I know, but it's still in its fucking ear. Helena, can you do better than this? Yes, uh, let's see. Cracks her knuckles a little bit. The full cut out eye. Oh, it's gonna be more like a quick, uh, a quick smack, and you just feel the lesser restoration. I guess this is technically oh. also his lesser resto in the spell. Yes. But as you guys were talking, uh, Ari's as you were heading back, you do notice that the uh, entrance that the bugs left out is now covered with a mass amount of dirt and boulders. Uh, uh, they work quick. Oh, yeah, that's they do. They don't want us to disturb them, so let's fucking not. Well, they really enjoyed that I gave a fucking earthquake down and opened that home and want me to never do it again, or they might kill me. Might? Pretty sure they would be thought. I'm gonna turn that might into a will. They'll put, but, they'll put eggs in you. I don't Should think that's going to get that a white bird. Does anyone else still hear a droning sound of, like, 1800 conversations at once or is that just me i hear a little bit of it but considering you were in there for at least 10 minutes and i was in there for like two probably a lot less hearing it i told you this hole was a good idea and shub smiles at you covered in slod blood i fell in here you jumped in and i jumped after that's all i remember <laughs> his chest explodes we're going to kill him right 
Uh, who's? Points to Shub. Uh, probably. Shub's only to... going to continue to grow. He's going to be fucking huge when, by the end of this. <laughs> Where's the book one? Name is down. You forgot my name. <laughs> I forgot most words at this point. Oh. Binge, please carry Tin and. Ah. You're gonna forget how to walk. Just a moment, sir. As he, as Binge just lifts you up, puts you on the other shoulder, right next to uh, uh Melina. Hey. She's you just. Kidding. I feel oh. fuzzy. Yeah. Now she's just Binge patting you. He's having a stroke. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I don't know, he just walked the other way. I think he, most of his ment mental facilities are broken. <laughs> you mean I what? Oh my god. What happened? He talked to the queen. For Is anybody minutes. else here an accordion? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, <laughs> Someone's having a lot of oh, fun. This is why we don't pay those bug accordions to fucking follow us. <laughs> it's getting faster. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Please don't tell me the tower has a bard in there just playing an accordion the whole time. I mean you are, you guys are going you guys are going in the direction of the fountain, so I'll be right back. Oh wait no, we're going to we're going to Shroud, right? Yes, I'll be right back. One minute. <laughs> Oh man, that was fun. <laughs> like, RP can be really fun. Fuck, that was so good. And it all happened because I decided to say fuck this earth in particular. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, it started with that, and then we were all going to leave, and then Chubby goes, no, fuck that. <laughs> I'm glad by the let me walk back the ice wall thing, because I didn't know the situation entirely. <laughs> yeah. This is how we die. I've been closing my left eye for like an hour now. Did you see? Are you uh, okay? how I play Snowy. <laughs> <laughs> you should see how I used to play Justice. <laughs> just close Justice. your eyes and like look at the <laughs> keyboard. Just, 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 like, <laughs> my keyboard. Alright, cool. I'm here-ish. I'm gonna move my wrist like four inches. Should be enough. Oh no, I, 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 I would look to, to move and stuff, but like... Whole dialogue section is just eyes closed because, like, nope, can't see shit, so we're not gonna say anything about shit. <laughs> we can see. I'm, I'm glad you and I are similar with RP, just like doing what our character would like actually do. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there, like, I hardly asked if I was okay because I'm like bent over, like covering one of my eyes. <laughs> like... I... Oh my god, that reminds me when the... we had that fucking shout match with that. I almost punched Jeeves' table. <laughs> Or the table? Because <laughs> I was like so like annoyed. Like I was trying to hold back punching, and I'm like, I'm not gonna break Harley's table over this. <laughs> yeah, I would have killed you. Like he just put a hair to crack. I still laugh. The funniest thing was when we were all together, or at least some of us were together for that. Fucking hearing Miser laugh. At some of the dumb <laughs> shit we were saying in the other room. Mize is really good at muting before he laughs, but he was not he was not able to hide it from us that day. All I imagine is just some maniacal laughter from another room and you're all like, wait, what? Not, <laughs> not wrong. You're not wrong. It's such you know, a weird problem with CSRO sometimes. It was just like the silent laughter of like holding my mouth shut going don't laugh don't laugh <laughs> see that's why in one in the chamber i've just given up and like the shit show goes the way it wants to at this point i'll laugh because uh i really am going to miss deco deco was such a fun character to play i miss kyle too in some ways or at least like from the well i, I just love how anti-world deco was like how shitty everything was in that world and he's like hello well the pr thing is like none of us cared about the world itself we were just trying to get out <laughs> i did well let me rephrase it i think that's the wrong phrasing for it but 
like we knew the people and like some of the stuff we were dealing with but at the same time it's not like it affected us to a degree where it changed us holistically as characters hey, outside of the i'll be right back what was that boo uh, i was gonna ask him if jason had said anything about the game i don't talk to him that much sadly that'd be more a genius question when he gets back but i was saying i was like dang he left fuck him I think I'm sorry, I reminded him that he had laundry to switch. Okay, go ahead, Moogle. I just think it'd be interesting to have Jason in the heist. Oh my god. <laughs> what? I'm not gonna lie, I thought the heist was actually this week. A dot next week. Because I was like, oh shit, we're ready to go. Um, I'll make the token that Moogle, but... Um... I'm not gonna get too much into it, but basically I'm just playing a Swarm Keeper, uh, Warforged Ranger. I have a name and everything too, so. Okay, I mean you have a sheet open. Oh, do I? Okay, I'll do it later. Um, are we just rolling for stats then, like the usual way? Oh yeah, standard, like we okay. go. Got it. I think I forgot to mention, but I think we're gonna have everybody start at level five. Uh, you said three, but you said you didn't know, so I guess five's fine. Okay, Good. I'm back. That's, um, uh, since we are at level 5, do we get, like, uh, the 2 feet rule, or you, like, a starting level 1 feet, or are you just doing it the only the 1 feet from level 4? Go ahead and take an extra feet. Finally, I can have 2 feet and walk. <laughs> anyway. No. Uh, yeah. You uh, guys are... Uh, BRB, but... Okay. Yeah, it's a... No, he's back. Yeah. Okay. There's one, uh... We're gonna start with the... Also, Moodle, I, I saw the fucking, uh, in the intro image. I'm like, oh, this is just, a uh, this is just fate. <laughs> I get immediately funny. picture. What's funny is I went back to find that image because it was on a, um, electro jazz <laughs> thing that I was listening to, and I was like... Yeah, this is what I gotta have on here. It works so well. So I gotta find a bunch of electro jazz and regular jazz for the game. And then, oh wow, that went a different voice entirely. And then, are you alright now? Better. And let me ring this in your ear. And she'll start ringing the bell in your ear. Can you hear that? Yes, he is not a problem. It was the sight. Also, uh, I need people to roll me the following. I will let you guys decide amongst yourselves. First is a survival. Uh, second will be... Hmm? Yeah, first will be a survival. Uh, someone amongst you to roll that. I have a plus six. I know. Go ahead. <laughs> I have a plus seven. Oh. I'm going to let Ari go for it then, because I fucked up the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 17. Uh, with that, I need someone to roll me a d8. Uh, I'll do it because I haven't rolled in a minute. Okay. So that's a reduction of 8. Okay. Why do I hear the C? Do the kids go that far down? Yeah, I'll uh, change that. <laughs> yeah, please change that for the moment because you guys are actually deeper underground, but you are walking in water as uh, the last check I need. Like... Last I need is uh, D100. You want to aim as low as oh. possible. He wants to roll That's away. my job. Uh huh. Rolls a hundred. Roll a 70. That's a 92. Well, good job, buddy. <laughs> I, I never believed D12. You Somebody give me a D12. Right, well, well whoever's left me, yeah, alright. Two. Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> so, I'll quickly narrate the, uh, the view of everything, of what's happening. I've already rolled two 80s. What the fuck's going on tonight? A lot of things is happening, it seems. <laughs> so, uh... You guys are wandering through the caverns, which you realize that the High Singers have been very busy making multiple holes and caverns 
tunnels through the, uh, well, through the underground. Kind of annoying when you're trying to get to a location, yet they're all not spreading anywhere uh, beyond just going straight forward. So all the paths do go in one direction. It seems like it was attempted to be a confusing twist and turns, but they all still go the same direction. Emboldened by this, you proceed forward, which reduces the amount of time that you had to travel and traverse by eight hours. Saves you a good amount of time. And consider this a uh, long rest that you guys get. Because, uh... As you're traversing through here, you didn't encounter any sort of uh, enemies or creatures. Some wildlife, but they are wise enough to not go after a fully armed group of people, especially if they're in a same tunnel of the High Stingers. So they have made Do it I drink a my potion? You may certainly give it a shot. It's a con save. Okay. Underwater in a water filled cave. That is a fail. I'm sorry to say, buddy. You don't get that uh, bonus this time. Okay. Let me just uh, write that. Let me just add that in. Oh, wait, that is the wrong. Uh, I'm on the wrong monitor doing that. <laughs> Do I get another shot at it, or is it that is just I don't get that one? You don't get that one, sadly. Okay. Let me just uh, make that check. Uh, do you have a daily thing, too? Yeah. They said his is also, like, if he fails, he doesn't get another shot at it. So I didn't get... Uh, re I would have just got regeneration. Yes. Unfortunately, you uh, did not get it. And the DC still goes up. Yeah. So the next is 17. I mean, you did get a lot of the other ones. I did. I did get a lot of the other ones, yeah. Alright. How deep is this water miser for walking? It's, uh, knee, uh, it's knee high for those that are uh, five feet ish. So not that oh. high. I'm, I'm swimming. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, I said, so Tiernan is like crocodile swimming right now. Yes. So, uh, yeah, that 92. You do hear commotion coming from the farther, deeper ends. And just so you know, it's not illuminated. I just didn't want to bother with the dynamic lighting. So those that don't have dark vision don't see much of anything. Unless someone see, makes light for them. I think has dark vision at this point. Uh, the only one I that... Have. I think the only one that lacks Beach. dark vision... <laughs> yes, he's the only one, but... He has tremor sense, yeah. which is like dark vision for babies. Yes. I just picture that the uh, little uh, guy, I always forget her name, Meliana, is just sitting on top of his head, just aiming his head in certain directions when he needs to turn. Yes, yes, we we, ha we have that image. I have that image perfectly in mind now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She is well, she is treating her new some... adoptive uh, uncle as his as her turret. <laughs> All right, so Adaria kind of spins her staff around and turns into a telescope, and then using the telescope version of it, looks down to see what the fuck is going on. Okay. So you see, I had you roll that D100 for a reason. All right. It's fine. So give me a moment. I need to... Hey, you really hear... so shit today is really bad for you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I love all... Eh, it's whatever. We die, we die. But I love the mental image of her just having this staff and then, like, kind of, like, it metamorphing as she, like, flips it into a less smaller telescope with, like, four gems on top of it. Give it a moment, because my... I don't know why it's taking so long for my page to load.
I'm starting to blame my uh, my computer and my uh, service system for going incredibly slow. Please adjust much faster while I am. Okay, so, Adario, you're using the telescope, right? Yeah. Okay. So, with your telescope, you see four things on the walls. Metal? I will let you be the judge of that. And uh, more interesting enough, they're not occupied with you, they're occupied with uh, other things, as in, where did I put those tokens? Here they are. So right now, they are currently having large nets, and in those nets are very familiar things that had, uh, some of you guys had fought before, in the abundance. I'm only putting a couple of them, but there's actually a lot of them, but you do see the familiar, uh, dual drones and the monodrones. Um, so it looks like they're capturing them, not yes. fighting them. Well, this is a fun predicament as she kind of like flips her staff around and like extends out back to its like normal like leg. Looks like there's some weird metallic spider people fighting the monodromes. I'll give it to you. I'll also give this to you. It doesn't even look like a fight. As much as the monodromes are struggling and throwing their weapons in and such, these armored, uh,. These metal bug-liking people don't even seem to be bothered by it, and they're just throwing these large nets at them. So it looks like Ed's got his fun hand here, trying to do some shit. It looks like. Is that... Wait, which side is Ed then? Is Ed not fighting against... that? Or hold on, he'll... He'll put the telescope and turn his one good eye. Ah! And let him... Kill the spicy ones, got it. You sure you're even in fighting condition right now? Actually, I'm better than I usually am. Well, be my guess then. They don't notice, so we have an element of surprise, at least right now. Yeah? Yes. Throw me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. Buzzer, it there. Buzzer, it there. Yes. <laughs> I said, end it there. Are we not, are we not done? Not yet, because there's something else. Something that, uh... Adaria. All right, Chubb, roll, roll your chuck, and I will uh, roll my acrobatics. Because, again, uh, right? unfortunately, oh, 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 oh. uh, I need, I need uh, Adaria to make, one, make me one more perception. Uh, advantage or no? No. But this will, uh, this is something that's very important before you throw Tyrion in. Because. Yeah. Bro, really? Yeah, you, did, yeah, <laughs> you didn't see it, so, uh, Tyrion. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Wait, Chubb. Do the yeah, do the strength. Uh or wow. or athletics. Yep, okay. Holy. So Tyrion. 
Uh, let me grab your token as you are, uh, let me see, 25, then 30, Dude, so you're gonna go, hot ass tonight. so let's see, that's, uh, while. that's 55, <laughs> so 110, so you're gonna be right here, Tyrannin, as you're flying right here, and you have dark vision, you see something at the very end of the tunnel, and you just hear a somewhat... Sinister laughter. Oh, I think I know what it is. And, uh... <clears throat> you see this thing here. What? Now I'm gonna shift-Z it. Ew! I kill and eat. You guys just hear from the end of the tunnel? Yeah, you fucks! <laughs> Binge, throw me. <laughs> and uh, we're going to end the session here for tonight as uh, Tyrannin is encountered, and I will spoil this because you're going to find out once you meet them in combat next uh, round or next session, the armored hive stingers that have been turned. And right, let, let me fix what I said. I don't know what you are, but I'm killing you first. You hear the mental link from this white frog, or rather this white slod, as it looks at you, and it speaks in an eloquent manner of, oh, it's the other half. I get to have a new achievement today, while the big boss takes care of the other one. We're gonna end the session oh. here. Oh no! <laughs> we gotta uh, go. <laughs> yeah. So, thank you for tonight of uh, this session. I am Miser Mark, your DM for this evening. The extra planner stuff is now starting to come full force now. <laughs> so, you can find my content on both Twitch and YouTube under Miser Mark. I am currently back in New York for now, so you'll be hearing the sirens, which I apologize for, but. I'll be back in uh, my new home again in a little bit once the uh, season is over. So, other than that, I will hand it over to my co DM for tomorrow, Jeebus and Ignis. <laughs> hey, everybody, I am Jeebus. Tomorrow, big, uh, big, big session. Really, actually, big session tomorrow. The party is currently face down, facing down a pit fiend. Uh, Plus is what I'm going to say because they don't know what it is, but they know it's stronger than a pit fiend. And they're level 11. So we will see if uh, if they make the uh, make some correct decisions. But right now they are within fireball range is all I'm going to say. Uh, we will see what happens tomorrow. And I... Uh, Hope Mike's campaign does not end tomorrow. But I will leave that up to my players. Speaking of my players, I will throw it over to Mr. Moogle, who is my wizard player then. Yes, I play wizard. Um, so CSR has ended. Uh, so not tomorrow, but the following Monday, we're gonna have a session zero for a uh, heist campaign. So we'll see who joins me for that. And uh, so far, I got a good group. Um, yeah, that's about all I got. So catch me tomorrow when I play Callisti. And uh, Mariner? Oh. Uh, yeah, I sometimes do things, apparently. <laughs> but just kind of. Oh, no. Um, yeah, next week the party armed with pipe bomb rage and probably some red bull are gonna either make me very upset or just demolish the city i don't know which is gonna happen <laughs> it'll be funny but i have no idea what the fuck's gonna happen um outside of that uh yeah been a generally fun time and we'll see what happens with all that and i guess i'll throw it over to salad
Hi, I'm Violated Salad. I play the frog thing that ate a slot heart. And uh, you can find my content where I film my office supplies because I suspect that they're moving on their own down below. <laughs> And I, think, I don't know who else. Uh, Rowan. Yeah. Um, hi, I do things. Um, trying to, twi- to, 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 to stream more on Twitch. What am I doing? On Tuesday, we'll be streaming Tiny Tina's with some friends. It'll be fun. Yay. Woo. <laughs> Uh, anything for you, River, or Arizo? No, nope. I'm good. <laughs> okay, so I'll close this off with a thank you, and I'm looking forward to the new campaign and how my players are going to handle a white slot. All right. They die slowly. Let's hope. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, everyone. Have a good night. Bye. All right.